degrees yesterday. And <laughs> for Florida, that's like cold as shit. <laughs> hey Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Thirty-six here. Netflix, HBO Max. Oh. Party. That's a question. That's a fact. What uh, are you looking to? Welcome to our stream. Hello. I have a cool bait, my guy. You're on stream right oh, now. Oh, you changed Jesse. it up. I did Jesse change it up. Day. That's what I was working on a bit today, changing it up a little bit. A little bit of that uh, sparkly animation in there. I figured it'd be nicer if the majority of the game board was on screen and then we were just sort of smaller. Um, oh, thank God I can start wearing less makeup. Ah, uh, uh. uh, yes. Oh, uh, me too. <laughs> you I know, don't need makeup, you're right. gorgeous. So, Preparing two hours every day grooming this beard like God. <laughs> Rib. Oh, that was so hot. Bib. Just my screen oh. being stuck on Matthew tearing off a rib harder to it. Oh, can someone clip that In a pitch <laughs> black room. <laughs> In a pitch black room. <laughs> my room's not, all the lights are off, my lights are on, it's just the camera's not picking it up. Sure, blame the camera. Because you're... It's because of your, uh, what do you call it? Your candlelight. Oh no, this this episode has been named the Dragonator. Oh no. Yay! Another Where's dragon my Dragonator? Dragonator. Dragonator's gonna be fun. It's a giant dragon killing gun that we're yeah. gonna go find the blueprint for. I had Vietnam flashbacks when you said the name gun. Dragonator. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Alrighty. So, last time... Last episode, we we, what an episode. we switched <laughs> Twitch accounts up. Then we're starting an hour later. Um, but in seriousness, you all landed on the island of Orkton. You had your first day there. You all woke up after drinking some mysterious brew, and your money. Your items, everything that was on your person is all gone. You all rushed downstairs in the morning, and you found the captain of the guard from the day before that demanded payment of 150 gold at before sun, sunrise, waiting for you all downstairs in the inn that you were staying at. A little bit of a commotion, a little bit of back and forth. Ben fought the bartender out of orc law it was completely legal and he beat the shit out of him yes he did Ooh. get fucked the orc captain cut you a deal he said alright bring me the 150 gold for your stay here by the end of the day and you guys can leave the island you all agree. During Is that trans Omar? during during that transaction, Omar snuck off away from the group. He went over and he went to the establishment where all your stuff was. He found Susan, or he hid inside Susan. He found all your stuff. He polymorphed a door into a dragon using the scroll of true polymorph that folklore got from. Feeble minding, the helpless gnome um, magic shopkeeper. And he escaped. After pulling the three guards from the deck of many things. While the rest of y'all went off of Yanis on a rinky dink boat, went off over to Orkton 2, Electric Boogaloo, and <laughs> there you are. He all came back after meeting up with a strange man called the Wanderer, who claimed to be a a, uh, a, a child of this god that he worships called Aeon. He said, I'll cut you a deal. 
find the parts or the blueprints for this weapon. And I'll show you where your stuff is. You all agreed. He shows you where the stuff was. And then he teleported you back to your ship where Omar flew in on his new dragon friend. And that is where we are going to start. I can get some music playing. God, everything is fucking lagging. Everything is lagging. Are we lagging? No, you're fine. I'm hey, Matt. My whole screen is lagging. What's up? With my new subclass, I have, what is it? Whispers of the Dead, right? Which lets me pick a new proficiency every time I do a a long or short rest. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to just, do you want me to tell you when I'm picking it? Or just keep track of it myself? Or how do you want me to do this? Um, tell me when you're picking it early in the morning. All right. Um, you don't um, need to tell me if you don't change it, but if you change it, just tell me. So that way I just know for when you are rolling and then, you know. Okay. Um, do I have to choose it right after the long rest? Uh, or short rest? You know, uh, yeah, if, if you want to change it, yes. Okay. Alright. But right now, I am picking Perception as my new proficiency. My gain proficiency. Sounds good. So, right now, to give you guys a time frame, it is about 5 o'clock in the evening. It took you about 5 hours to row over there on Mama's Rinky Dink Boat. For Omar, it took you about, inside Susan, it was about the same time. It was about 5 hours. And then you had your little kerfuffle, and then you came back. So. Awesome. Yep. The crystal ball that the Wanderer showed you, it wasn't in real time. He was just showing you, like, yeah, that, this is what happened. So, you all converse back on the ship. Um, what do you guys do? Omar just landed with the dragon. You talked to the dragon. His name was Dor. Dor. Because Matt, you got to do the voices for Tim and Ben. Or just Tim. I heard. Yeah, it's just Tim. Tim. Huh? Yeah, the dragon's just meeting Tim now. Ten low. Uh, for, for the, yeah, for the sake of it. No, it's all that. Uh, does Raphael know Draconic? I do not. Hello there, Traveler. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Hello there. Where did you come from? I came from Mighty Magic. All right. It was magic. It was mighty. What a... I used to be a dwarf. What, what, what of my magics, to be more specific? But you know, Omar decided to use it. But it's whatever. I don't think. Uh, I don't think folklore. He, uh, you didn't see him use the scroll, so... Nate, uh, he told me. Oh, he did? Okay. Let's see. Right. I wish I could, like, see roll 20. Like, that would be great, but, like, my game is so laggy right now. Why don't you just watch the stream? So we're on Orkton 2. Anyways. You, we are all on, you are all on Orkton 1, back on your ship in the harbor. Yeah. Your ship is, everything on your ship was, um, everyone besides Omar, roll me a perception check. To see, everyone you know, if you notice Omar. everything hey, on your ship. Hey, perception. Hey. Hey, perception. D20 plus five. Ah, 17. Okay. Ah, 13. Eight. Five. Oh. <laughs> Sixteen. 
Man, Barden and Hewen are completely different. I, I know. I roll so <laughs> fucking well as Barden. Swear. Man, like everything you roll with Barden is just like yeah. 16, 22. And then like like five net fours on a D fours. <laughs> like jeez. All right. But. So, folklore, Zangus, and Raphael. You notice all your shit? It's gone. It's like. That one meme of Will Smith walking into his room, or walking into the living room, and all the shit's gone. <laughs> it's literally that. You look around, like, you're on the ship, but, like, the normal barrels aren't there. Like, they took all your ropes. They they I took... My barrel. They, they took the... the they, Prince of Bel-Air. They, they took the pedestal, or the, the table that you had your map out on. Um, everything seems to be gone. Yo, we got we got fucking robbed. They they those bastards they they took my barrel. <laughs> so when we saw on the orb, uh, we saw Omar draw the cards and all the crazy stuff went down. Mm -hmm. Did we see that he was in a location with our stuff? So. What you saw, you don't know where it is specifically, but you saw that the walls in the building that he was in, it was very dark and black. And Omar seemed to be in the center of it at the time. And then he burst through the doors and he flew away on the dragon that's now in front of you. He flew away on the door. Huh. So you, you don't really have an exact location, but you just saw all this craziness happen. He was somewhere. <laughs> he was Oi. somewhere. <laughs> Oi, Omar. Would you like to uh, enlighten us on where the hell you've been? How the fuck you have a dragon? You just disappeared after the after the bar. I think he's frozen. F. <laughs> or he is just like pondering his answer. He's been He's been sitting like like that for a minute. <laughs> nah, nah, that that neck, that, that, <laughs> the big ponder. I was about to say that neck that's being too still. Oh damn, that's not nice. He could slap your ass for that. <laughs> but hey, How about now? I literally was talking for like a good ten minutes. And then I <laughs> Oh, you thought we were all ignoring you. Oh, that's a yeah, big token. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so so I, I basically asked, where the hell have you been? Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. And to enlighten us on the situation. Yeah, I look at Dora, I go, well, this is Dor. This is my new dragon. Uh, Dor, say hi. Greetings. I believe, hi, we, already made, I believe we already made acquaintances, but um, hello again <laughs> for the third time. Good door. Anyways, so, yeah, I saw Susan, and I ran, and then I jumped inside of her, and then we did a thing for a little while, and then when I was inside of her, we ended up in this weird place, and then boom, all of our stuff was there, so I grabbed my stuff, and I was like, awesome, I got my stuff, and I was like, well, I gotta bring you guys back here to the stuff, and then boom, I got a dragon now. Basically, I got a dragon now. Can someone please clip this? Omar, Omar goes over to Dora the dragon and just starts like hugging him and petting him because he's just so excited about his dragon. This sounded so I, wrong. I just want this to get. <laughs> I want this to get clipped for the whole fact that Nate's explanation is amazing and that Delaney and uh, Ben are fighting in the background. <laughs> so basically, what it sounds like is you uh, d did the cyber nasty with. Yep. The stone giant and now she gave birth to a dragon <laughs> and you want to show us the stuff yes <laughs> that's exactly what you said and then omar omar finally comes down and goes like oh yeah your stuff oh yeah it's it's you know over yonder and he just points in the direction since omar's not really good of you know it's not like you have a mat making kit or whatever. I know, right? Omar did not think about making a map while he was flying on Dory, okay? 
<sighs> okay. Gotta roll high on your history check so remember where we're going. Dord, w would you remember where all of our stuff was? Of course I would. The destination is true north. Although, I do believe that it might be quite difficult going over there. Flying over, I noticed uh, local foliage and forests are very dense and deep, and without a proper map or trail to follow, it could be deadly. Could get can I ch can I check and see if our does our boat have a version of like like a boot on a car that would like the cops put a boot on it? Does our boat have a version of that, or can we hit currently sail out? Uh, roll me perception check. Alright. They've rigged it to explode. <laughs> yeah, is there traps yeah. on it? I'd like uh, to six, check 16. Traps. Not a boot per se, but there seems to be a very, uh... You seem to notice, like, looking around over yonder into town, there seems to be some commotions happening over there, and there seems to be a lot of guards. And that captain guy, just in his nicey, nice fancy gold armor, um, he seems they, they seem to be uh, hurrying over to you. Not running, but they're like, like, all right, we're going over there, you know. Ah, so we must we we should probably hide. Yes. When do, you see that. Do they see us? Hey, Omar, have you told us that the captain's probably well, the one that took our stuff yet? You're on the deck of the ship. Who? So, what'd you say? You cut off for me. Oh, I said, have you told us yet that the captain's probably the guy who took our stuff? No. Oh, okay. No. But oh, we do I know that you. if he caught us on the ship, we would be the rest. I told you that. Uh, all I told you was that one guy that. forget his name what was that yeah everyone uh cut out with us now right now too right we're just discussing stuff mm. no he wasn't with us yeah didn't he come because he's the one who led us to the wanderer and then when the wanderer teleported us i didn't back. i didn't kill him or anything i don't know what we did to lose him but no i just told you guys that hey he's no good was his name Jin? Wasn't his name something like that? Hmm? The guy who basically led us on this like Yanis. Easter egg hunt. Yanis. Yeah, Yanis. Yanis. Is he Yanis. with us right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's with us. He's standing on the ship, and he's. And I mean, technically, he didn't bring us to anything bad. He didn't leave us on a wild goose chase. He brought us to a person who told us where our stuff was. In Draconic, I want to look at Dor, and I want to be like, "Hey, Dor, can you take care of Yanis for us?" And just fly him away? No, 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 no. I'm going to jump in because I also speak to Tonic and I'll be like, no, don't hurt Yanis. He's literally the only one that gave me clothes. Otherwise, I'd be naked right now. <laughs> He's cool. These are facts. And then I, in Draconic, I look at her and I say, no, Yanis sold us all out. Uh, d what proof do you have? I heard it when I was in the vault getting all of my gear. And you heard specifically that he sold us out. I heard. <laughs> well, my real in life memory's trash. So. <laughs> uh, he basically heard that was, he was, he was an informant. He, no, he was he was told to take us on a wild goose chase. Quite yeah, literally. I heard. Yeah, I heard that he was. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, we didn't go on a wild goose chase. We found someone who gave us a great question. They told us exactly where our stuff is. What the fuck? Like, no, he led us in the wrong directions. No, he brought me to meet my brother. I like how all this is going on in Draconic, and we're all just standing there like a bunch of assholes. While <laughs> no, a, no, I, I literally just asked, what are y'all saying? Our asses. <laughs> if I may, what are you all discussing? I, this is, it seems to be you all are discussing something that's very, uh... I'll look at him and say, beat yeah, me, it's, mate. It's, 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 I have no idea, bro. Wouldn't Watch you like it. to know, weather boy? <laughs> <laughs> Go I like your funny you words, are, magic man. Anti-productive, if you, if you were to ask me. Um, 
Janice, were you told to take us on a wild goose chase? Oh, heavens no. Yeah. I would never take you on a wild goose chase. Can I roll insight? But were What's you told goose? to do it? Can I roll insight? <laughs> yes, you can. It's like a chicken. Remember all those chickens we have? Yeah, What's they're all the gone. And Munchie's gone. Can I ask? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm a rage. 19 on insight. <laughs> This guy's kind of powerful, though. That's a fucking nine. 19 we already have nine. someone who rolled a 19. Can I also try? No, Since no, no I'm, oh, oh, I'm two not. people can try a roll. Yeah. Oh. I, I asked for already... So, oh. Raphael, it, it, it's weird. So, <laughs> okay. You're, you're trying to see, like, all right, is he lying? Did he lead us on a wild goose chase? Well, because the question was, were you told to lead us on a wild goose chase? And so, Yannis didn't lie when he said, I would never lead you on a wild goose chase. But he also didn't tell the truth, <laughs> saying that he wasn't told to lead you on a wild goose chase. <laughs> Let me get real with you for a second. <laughs> he was told to, but he helped us. That's the thing. An omission of the truth is still a lie. Grab your but torches, everybody. No, he. Why do you do this? You did this with Captain Two. I'm, I'm joking. I don't even know. I, my character doesn't even know. This is Coley talking. This is chaotic Coley talking. <laughs> Omission of the truth is still a lie, Janice. <laughs> we're we're on the ship, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. you're on the ship. Um. As as you're all bickering, uh, you oh, start to hear you hear some footsteps start coming onto the dock and, and coming over and HALT RIGHT THERE! We're fucked. We've been halted. I was say, we're not moving around, dude. What is the meaning of this? I give specific directions. You give me the gold, you can have back your ship. Do you have the gold with you? Yeah, we've got the gold. <laughs> is my Has my gold been taken out of my bag of holding? Yes. Did everything that Never mind. Out? Like everything's been taken out of my bag of holding, you're saying? Um no? all your gold has specifically. They didn't they didn't seem to take anything else out of the bag of holding. So when going to the bag of holding, they were specifically looking for all coins, all jewels, all valuables that they could immediately take out and then they they dump they seem to dumped on the floor by the uh Ben's blade and um would he still have his artwork? No, that was all there as well. All that. Do I still have like? But everything else. Everything, you, rubies, and all that. All your gems, everything like that was taken. Do, do you, can is it possible <clears throat> to cast minor illusion on something and give it to him, saying that like, "Hey, this is our gold." Um. Well, minor illusion only works. It doesn't move. Right, it doesn't move, and oh. you want to be able to pick it up, and... Mm -hmm. So... You could you could minor illusion, look at there, it's only 150 gold, but the second he goes try to pick it up, they'd be like, ah, oh, wait a minute, you bamboozled me. <laughs> gotcha. You bamboozlers. Gotcha, bitch. So... I could make something, though, because I have prestidigitation. Okay. That's a non-magical trinket. I um, am going to... Okay. I can make um, a platinum coin appear in my hand and be like, here, I'm going to overpay. I'm super sorry about that. That would work, right, guys? Is that enough money? Money is... Math is hard. Uh, well, it's 150 one, gold. One platinum... Is like ten. A platinum is 10 gold pieces. Oh, shoot. That won't be enough. <laughs> You're a little short. <laughs> Just a little bit. Here, I like got to over. Here, let me overpay a little bit. <laughs> That's not overpaid a bit. Okay, Godiva and Jesse are both bad at math. As so. you hand the cop a five dollar bill, uh, here, let me overpay for that speeding ticket, bud. <laughs> Just want to get well, back to my local government. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. So I can create. Let's see. A non-magical trinket or illusory image that can fit in my hand. Mm -hmm. So I could make um 
a non-magical trinket? Could I make a bag that looks like it's <laughs> full? So using prestidigitation, correct? Yes, sir. So whatever, it's still an illusion. So it's not, it's not physical. They can't grab it and pick it up and put it in their pocket. Can we just dip? Pet dissertation <laughs> is like the ultimate, the it's the ultimate effect spell. Yeah, are they on the ship? Yeah, they're on, they're all, there's the captain <clears throat> in front and there seems to be about eight guards behind him with more on the dock. Well, Omar, you know that he actually stole their stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, do we, do we want to just kill him? Like Almost like, weapons. this is great information. That's a lot in of the back pocket. <laughs> With what weapons? Um, hello, spellcaster. Fuck you. Okay, hello, I will just go Dr hide in a corner, I guess. Um, huh, hello, I'm proficient in unarmed. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, everybody but Tim can fight. I'm proficient great. in unarmed as well. Jesse's a spellcaster, okay. Nate's a spellcaster. You and Dad, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're the hold only on. use Someone for distract him and I try and pickpocket him. Oh, you could pickpocket sure. people for money and pay him. I yeah, but pick you remember there are eight people. diligent guards right behind him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Good diver, make a big distraction. I I am trying so to <laughs> them all before. This is a mess. Okay. Let's do Can the door and distract them all. I would like to um ask Door if he can help me distract this guy. All of them might preferably. And I am going to go up to Door. And I'm going to tell the guard, oh, yes, sorry, let me get your money. And I am going to fake put my hand in Dora's mouth and then continually cast prestidigitation yep. and keep pulling out stuff and throwing it to the side and then letting it disappear and then pulling out something else and letting it disappear. I'm like, where, it? where is that money? It's got to be in here somewhere. Dora's just gagging. Dora's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Um, well, yeah. you, start, you start putting... He started reading out the free hand on door, and he's like, he's like, please, please don't. I'll look up and be like, please help. I'm not going to actually put my hand in your mouth. Please help. I don't want to die. I mean, yeah, but I, I, I don't really want a hand in my mouth. No, no, I'm not, not going to really put my hand in your mouth. I'm just going to put it near your mouth. I, 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 don't, I don't feel comfortable with this at all. Uh, this is a lot. This, this is a lot that's been happening ever since I ever since, ever since I woke. Okay, okay, turn around and lift up your tail. Oh, no, I, I, I don't like this idea either. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. No, I, I may I may not be very used to my anatomy yet, but I have an idea of what you want to do. <laughs> wait, just wait. Can our dragon like breathe fire by chance? He's a dragon. He's a dragon. Oh, God. Not all dragons breathe fire. So I do have a fire. very interesting spell. Um, Me also, too. Jesse, um, actually, so you're able to cast your sorcerer spells, but all your warlock spells right now are not available to you because you don't have your spellcasting focus. My, my, I know my, my, I don't my, my focus yeah. for all my spells. Do I? Um, you need components or you need your spellcasting focus. I have them all written. They, they say if you need it or not. Because some of them are just, focus, so. some are just verbal and somatic. I can cast things, though. If Tim wants to still pickpocket them, I could always cast Fog Cloud and see if that gives them an advantage because they wouldn't be able to see him. Wait, can you cast Pat? Wait. Pass without a trace. That does that yeah, only yeah. do? It doesn't make you invisible. It's it gives right, you a plus right, ten to. Self. It gives you a plus ten to self. If you're going to try to self buy, um, it would be at disadvantage. But what if I cast? Oh, but pass it without a trace. It means we have to have it for an hour, right? Still disadvantage, but plus ten to disadvantage. Yeah, it's plus ten. The guard captain at this time, he's going to. 
I have a plus put a hand on, has... on his sword. Well, show me your gold. If you cast Pass Without a Trace, I'll have a Pass Without a Trace. I'll have a plus nineteen in stealth. What's uh, what do you call it though? No, that's in. Can you still pickpocket them? That is, I still have a plus nine in sleight of hand. Right, it's sleight of hand dex though, right? Yeah. So pass without trace gives you a plus ten to all dex. No, just stealth. Just stealth? I thought it was all dex. I will have a plus nineteen in I mean, stealth, so I can get behind and, you and I don't start pickpocketing you. Yeah, you can at least get it behind you. You can try. Because we can't just make gold appear. We, I think we figured that out. Mm -hmm. Well, no, Jesse's trying to right now. <laughs> Technically, we can have another more chaotic plan, but I'd rather not do that. Kill everybody. They have no weapons. I can't fight. Straight up explode them all. No? Show me the gold now, and also explain where this dragon came from. Yeah, I'll cast Pass Without Trace for uh, him. Okay. Now I am going to... Where's my roll? I'm going to roll with plus 19. And it, while he's doing that, I'll, I'll talk to him. I'll say, well, we have, a, we have a good friend named uh, Jarvis. And... Oh, yeah, disadvantage. Here, I'll roll another. So that I'll was I'll tell 28 him about okay. and or 27. So as... as so... As Omar uh, casts pass about traits, it's it's kind of like he's going like a with his staff. It's it's very noticeable. Um, well, I started talking to him about Jombus and how we got the dragon from him. That was he's after, that was after he start, That was after he cast the spell. He's still doing a full fucking and you know casting a spell. So as he casts a spell, all the guards immediately become. Fucking unready. Uh, you, uh, Raphael, you managed to uh, quickly just kind of like yeep and just kind of like sneak by. Yay! And you managed to get down to the docks while the guard captain pulls the sword along with everyone else and points it at Omar. You there! Boy, what did you just cast? I look at the boss here and I go like, I don't know, I'm just a little kid. I, and then I just start screaming for my parent. Hey, why are you yelling at my kid? Aurelia, get the shackles, take them away. Can I get a map to figure out where I am so I can start pickpocketing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Omar, you and, should jump on, jump uh, on the dragon. So if you zoom yeah, in, if you that. zoom in on the map on uh, Gorkol, <laughs> Garkrol, Garkrol, <laughs> you are on the far dock, all the way Which up one? on the uh, far left side, the little short one. So I'm, yep. I'm right here. Okay. Uh the little baby one. Mm. This, this one. Can I have my tokens, please? You can put the tokens yeah. on there yourself. And Matt, I have a question. Um, yes. my my token is pretty big. Um, well, then make it smaller. <laughs> yes, you, you can you can select it and then you can make it smaller, like a How? you know a picture in a word. Wait, document. I don't have any of the corner things. I don't have. I don't Nor have do any. I. I don't have the corner thingies either. How do I get my uh, token? All right. I can spin it around in circles. Give token. Oh, that's tiny. Come back. It's me, I itty bitty. Holy crap, how yeah. far away? Hey, look, it's me. So, so I'm here. I'm bigger than y'all. This is bullshit. Yeah, I gotta bullshit. zoom in. Times, ah! times 100. <laughs> it's you and God. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I got it. <laughs> this, oh, this I, need to draw, I need to draw a new picture of Zangus uh, without his why am sword. I, why am I drawing rectangles? <laughs> What's happening? You clicked on the um you clicked the, on the draw shape button. Shape. Go on the one that says select move. Click on the arrow. Sorry. I am back on the arrow. <sighs> <laughs> Yo, is this a freaking like Lord of the Rings tower over here? Are we in Mordor? Yeah. It really does look very mountain. Now is everyone here? I think it's like an Aya Zoran type of deal. I am totally ready to hang out with Morgoth. I, I guess I'm gonna roll a, a sleight of hand to pickpocket. Yeah, here's my question. So I just read my thing that's just a pass without trace. And it just says you have a plus 10 to dexterity checks. <laughs> that means stealth. I don't know. So it says just I, I, I believe I believe it yeah. says parentheses stealth de dexterity checks. No. Oh, wow. Just dexterity. At least, well, my thing's been wrong before because some of the stuff is says it's like concentration, but it's really like ritual. No, pass so, without trace. I don't know. Gives you a plus stealth 10 to stealth checks. You. Dexterity parentheses stealth, yes. Well, I tried. Where are the peas and players? Oh, here we go. Ah, it's not in here. Awesome. Uh -huh. I do. <laughs> players handbook, you have failed me. All right, uh, I'm gonna roll out it for no reason. What were you looking for in player's handbook? Pass without a trace, see if that spell was in there. <laughs> Is it not? It's not. It's uh, probably Xanathar's uh, head. Yeah. Mm. I know, right. it's, it's definitely not UA. So, you sneak down onto the dock below. Everyone else is standing by. All sorts are pointed at Omar, and Zangus is now trying to jump off the ship. As Zangus, you are trying to jump off the ship into the water below. Um, there is a... A, a guard over by the edge of the ship is going to try and, and grab you before you can jump off. So you need to make me an acro you need to make me an acrobatics check. Oof. <laughs> Not a strength <laughs> check, an acro it's an acrobatics check as someone I heard you. is uh trying to, to grab thirteen. Alright, a thirteen and that is yeah. that person. What is he rolling against? What's he gonna stop? Do stop me? Uh, <laughs> he is trying to do an athletics check and, and grab you in the air. Oh, he, well then he's gonna grab Oof, me. Snork. All right, so that is going to be a. I don't know. This roll looks kind of sus. It looks like it's sitting on the edge. <laughs> Definitely looks like a two to me, dog. <laughs> I don't know. The computer doesn't lie. So that's going to be a fourteen. Okay. Damn. So it beats you by one. So. You go off, you dive, and a guy just comes in and he just tackles you from the side. And you're like on the ground prone right now as there's a guy who's trying to tackle you and try to squirm you around and try to put some shadows on you. Now we look more sus. I would like to kick him off of me with both my legs and yeet him over the boat. <laughs> okay. uh, all right, roll me and attack. <laughs> Attack? Why are we just like killing people? Yeah. I'm moving him <laughs> off of me. Yeah, man. Roll me an attack. Right, guys, time to get some new character sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to part two of us just absolutely destroying an island. Twelve. Um. But Logan, you got a that pink ring left in you. Hit. <laughs> there, there's always. All right, pink. I try again. Can we get R.I.P. Pink Ring in the chat, please? Yeah. Alright, you can you can try again. Can we get a pink ring lol in the chat, please? Omega lol. Ah, much better. 18. Alright, that does hit. And now, roll damage, and then afterwards roll me an athletics check, because you're trying to kick him, and then push him off. While all this is happening, am I am I pickpocketing someone? Um, 
You, so you were on the you were on the bottom below. Um, pass without trace. What is that dice? It's a D four. So, uh, okay, five damage. I'm rolling an athletics check. Uh, so, real quick, path without trace. Does it say you have to be in a certain area of effect the entire okay. time that you're yeah, in pass without trace? Yeah, thirty feet. Anyone 40 feet? within thirty feet of me. Has passed without trace. Okay. But so, it say there's like a limit to it. Right. Well, I'm trying to think. Just trying to rob the guards? Well, I'm trying to think because there's guards on the actual dock below. So if pass without trace continues, um. Yeah, it continues. The range itself, it says. Okay, but the duration of it. Duration of it is, uh, concentration up to one hour. Okay. It's a day or an hour. I mean, so it is an area of effect. So yeah. everyone within thirty feet of you. So the second, so the second, <laughs> so the second Raphael passes out of that pass about a trace range. Um, you don't get the bonus on your check anymore, Raphael. Can you roll me another stealth check at disadvantage? Um, to try and sneak past the guards that are now trying to come onto the ship. Um, as Zangus, you, this guy, he tackles you to the ground, and you are laying on your back, and you just kind of like, you just grab him and just. With a big burst of energy, you just kick him right in the middle what? of the stomach, right in the abdomen, and he goes flying off uh, the other what? end of the ship into the water as he makes a... <laughs> uh, and he... Would Raphael not get advantage on his stealth check since Zangus just literally needed a guard off the boat? Uh, no, that sounds he, pretty he's, distracting. He's rolling with disadvantage. Why? Wouldn't Zangus get an advantage because of... <laughs> because, Raphael, you... because Raphael is huh? coming off the... So Raphael is coming off the ship to the guards below. So he's coming off the ship, so they can. It's his advantage to see if he can sneak past the guards as they're coming onto the ship, as he's trying to get off the ship. Sixteen. A sixteen. That does it. So. Yeah, yeah. You, there's like a, some just like some normal bystanders down there below, and you quickly blend into the bystanders. Um, okay, as one like of the guards are walking past, as Correct. one of the guards are walking past, I'm going to try and pickpocket them. All right, roll me a slide of hand. Deal. 13. <laughs> 13? Doesn't, it doesn't do it. They get there. There's some guards. That are, it's a lot of, you know, moving back and forth. And so as you're, as you're like, going in, like, and you're trying to reach for a pocket, your hand kind of, like, goes into the pocket and kind of, like, Claw like wraps around it like that, and that, but like the, it's still the guard's still moving, so your hand just kind of slips out of the pocket, and you're not able to, to reach your hand inside of it. Okay, I'm gonna try and pickpocket a different guard. All right, uh, we'll do that in a second. As for four more guards are coming onto the ship for a total of 12 guards plus a captain. Are now on the ship itself, um, blades, some of them still have blades drawn on. Omar, but now there are the four guards that just came on. Um, they're going to try to go and uh, restrain Zangus. Y'all have passed. I jump off clothes. the boat. All right, the same thing as before. Someone's going to try to stop me from jumping off the boat. What? There's no break between when like, I yeet this guy off of me that I can get out of the boat. <clears throat> just accept the cambat. Cambat. I think he's waiting for a roll. Yep. So you need to make him. Alright, well if they're gonna if I know they're gonna reach me in time, I am instead going to try since I would assume they're coming from the opposite side of the ship and towards me. I am going to try and take the first one and as with his momentum throw him off the boat as well. Okay. Roll me an athletic check. Hell yeah, athletics. <laughs> yes. Yes. Plus seven. <laughs> Not ideal. Eleven. Poop right. Um. Yeah, it's it's no dice. You're <laughs> like, oh, I'm ready for it, and you're like you're you're prepared for one guard, but then two, three, four start coming at you all at the same time. You're like, ah, and you're trying to move someone, but then it's just a uh, you're in a giant kerfuffle right now. Raphael, roll me again to try and pickpocket uh, a nearby person. It won't be a guard. It'll be the people you're standing by. 
Okay. Ah, 22. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's simple enough. There's just some normal merchants that are just standing there just going, Well, I be. I never seen a quite a kerfuffle like that. A damn pirate who was coming up here to our island. Can you believe this stuff? And he's like nudging towards you, and you just and you just kind of like you like a sheepish nod. Like, yeah, yeah, it's totally crazy. As you reach into his pocket and see what he's got, he's got five silver, seven copper, and like a half piece of bread in his pocket. Take it all. <laughs> I'm taking it all. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Eat the bread in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just start munching on the bread. All right, the guard captain is now going to um, insist he's going to go over. Aurelia, get the shackles. Tie up the boy. Yes, sir. What's the dragon doing? This, right now? Um, the dragon's just kind of chilling out right now. He's not getting involved. Yell for the dragon. Hey, hey yo, I look. Dragon. I know hey, Dragon was such a pacifist. <laughs> <laughs> I look He's so much like Dragon. I don't want to fight right now. Wait, run towards the dragon. See if it scares the dog. The guards. The guards. <laughs> the, guards. Yes, the dog. I, the guards. I look at my dragon and ask him if he will help. I, I want to yeah. look at door and I want to be like, "Do you want to help?" I I I don't know, man. That seems kind of that seems kind of like out of my league a little bit. There's a lot of people over here. I mean, if we want to try to make an escape, we can't, but like, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't um, know. Yeah, a lot of people currently I would like to, I would like to, uh, look, just looking at the situation, there's a lot of guards. I would like to catch enlarge on the dragon. Oh. Um, uh, uh, please don't shrink the boat. Uh, yes. Please don't sink the boat. Is, are, are the captain of the guard and a group of his guards kind of clumped together? Oh, um, coming right on. Sense of fire. Are, are the captain of the guard and some of the guards kind of grouped together? Yeah, they're all they're all grouped together. There's the captain right there, and then there's about yeah, four or five I, just kind of standing right next to her. They have their blades drawn over at um at Omar as you see this one orc woman with these shackles coming over, like walking over to, to put them on. Um, Omar himself. I'm about okay, to give yeah, this dragon a... big dick status. Um, I can cal- cast Elder's Blast because it only has verbal and somatic components. Okay, that's fine. So I am going to cast um, Elder's Blast at the captain and one of the other guards and try to knock them off the ship, and I'm going to tell him do- he doesn't dare touch my son. Coochie man! I was Coochie man! <laughs> captain. Um... Okay, I'd say from the way that the guards are positioned, you can knock two off. Cool. One of them is going to be the captain, hopefully. Uh, the captain is not a part because the captain's in the front and the center. But... So you He's can push the, the captain. Yeah, so... Well, she said she was aiming for the captain. Are you aiming for the That's captain? What said. Yeah, well, I mean, before and in, in past, you've had me take people with them sometimes when I blast. My thing. You're right. Uh, so if you were to hit the captain, the captain wouldn't fault the ship, but the, perhaps the person behind him would. Perfect. Yeah, I'll hit the captain. I'll try to hit the captain, and then I'll try to hit one other guy. And right. I just want to see how many I can push back. I'm going to try to push back as many as I can, and I'm going to try to knock somebody into the water if I can. All right, sounds good. Nine, 20, 20, 20. 24 against the captain's AC right, and 17 against the other guy's AC. That's also going to hit. Great. So the um, one guy, he, he takes see. the damage, yeah. however it is, but he's he falls off the side of the ship as the uh, captain they- takes it and he pushes back. Uh, how much is the damage for the captain? Um... Seven and seven plus my charisma, so ten damage each, okay. and they get shoved. A- after the captain gets shoved, can I attempt an earth bind on the captain? Um, you certainly can. What does the captain need to roll? And how much damage you save for the captain again? Ten. Give me a second. Ten. 
Alright. Go get myself a drink. Give me a drink. Uh, strength saving throw. Strength saving throw? Okay. <clears throat> to work, it's like... GG. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be a 13. Ooh. Damn. That just makes it. If it, yeah, if it meets, it beats. Oh, wait, did I say a 13? Yeah. I meant, um, I meant a fucking A uh, 12? I'm, I'm retarded. Oh, an 8? Oh, fuck you. Yeah, no, he, he, he's bound. I, did, say, ma I a, did math wrong. That's polar. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't have a plus 8 in strength. <laughs> Scared me for a second. I'm like, oh my god, his strength. So, what, did, what did you cast? He cast Earthbind. So Earthbind. the captain uh. is is now bound as um, the actual wood of the ship comes up and wraps around the captain in a way that he is now unable to move. Cool. Um, okay. Um, the one, the I'm gonna do something else quick if I can. Sure. The, um, guy who is, who just grabbed Zangus. Yep. I'm gonna look at him and I'm gonna use a first level spell and I'm gonna tell him, um, to jump. Are you casting suggestion? Command. Command. All right. They have to make so... a, a wisdom saving throw. Yep. And you're the doing this against just one of the guards, <laughs> correct? Or the captain. I'm, I'm doing against the guard that just grabbed yep. Zangus to yep. try to stop him ah. from jumping off the ship. So Zangus can jump off the ship now. Um, yeah. Which so... one of the four do you want to aim for? <laughs> <laughs> there, yeah, there's four right now trying to grab onto Zangus. There's all like a big kerfuffle. Zangus is pushing back. Uh, but you point to one of them, the one nearest to the side, and you just go jump, and he just goes, yep, and he just jumps over. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Got it. That makes sense. <laughs> I like <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do you guys want me to cast a minute at third level and make the other three jump off the ship too? Because <laughs> I have a third level one. It has higher levels than adds a person. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I'll do the same thing. I'll cast it again. It, it, it just becomes like do 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 do. Yeah. Do, do, do. So. I'll make the other three. The jump first one just jumping up. The first one doesn't jump. The second one does. Does jump. And the third one doesn't jump. Okay. So you get one other person to jump off as the other two kind of see what's happening and they're and they're they're kind of trying to mentally resist right now. Okay. Um, Omar. Yeah. Can you make me a dexterity saving throw as this orc guard is coming over with these shackles? Oh my son! Yeah, sure. Hang on, I got wait. Yeah. For uh, so what's the status on my enlarge spell? Um, you're trying to enlarge the dragon, correct? Yes. Um, I don't. No, last time I used the large, I don't Did think I, I was able I have no idea to what do I'm doing something from large to huge. Right you rolled a three. You rolled a three, so um, you're trying, oh. like, you're looking over at the dragon, you're not really paying attention as this orc lady comes up with these little tiny, tiny shackles, and your two hands are now shackled, um, and she takes away your wooden staff. No, my son. <laughs> All right, can you say all that again? I disconnected. Sure. So you're shackled, and the lady now has your staff. Behind you, door is looking a little disgruntled as... Oh. Yeah, doesn't the dragon have some free will? What's what's he doing? Is he just chilling, not doing the nothing? Dra the dragon, the dragon is, can the, do whatever he wants. Yeah, the dragon, he's only friendly. So he's not under anyone's control. command. Correct. Right. He's not exactly an ally. He's not ally yet. He's just very friendly. Let me look at him. Uh, um. 
It, it, uh, it doesn't say that there's a limit so on... I'm in shackles right it, now? It just has to be within range of me. It just... It, there's no yes, limit on the size. Yes, you are in uh, shackles right now. Uh, enlarge. The target size doubles. Um... Yeah, so that'll work. Um, you you cast enlarge on a dragon, and door just becomes bigger, and so the space that he's in just kind of. As Nathan, befo uh, as Omar, before you were kind of like up to, to knee height, suddenly uh, you kind of get pushed back, um, and you are now like just like shin height as he transforms into this huge creature. Uh, as this happens, I'll just say a lot of the guards are starting to freak out, and the captain's like, you. What magic did you do? <laughs> I'm gonna say, door, do something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll me, roll me a yeah. persuasion. Oh boy. Oh, I got eight. You kidding me? But say I just I just gave this boy big dick status. <laughs> big dragon dick status too. Hell yeah. That's like humongo dick status. Hey, I found I found pass without a trace. So <laughs> for the duration, each creature you choose within thirty feet of you has a plus ten bonus of dexterity stealth checks, which Correct. means so I you have to keep stay. it you outside of thirty feet, right? No, you keep it if it's in within the 30 feet. It's not like to your person. Imagine it like a cloud. That's okay. exactly what it is. It's, it's, it's just a, a cloud. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, um, I'm in shackles right now, you're saying? Yes, you're in shackles. Uh, <laughs> door... Uh, Dor doesn't exactly do something, but you telling him to do something, he's like, Right, I guess you're gonna fight. And he has a little bit more confidence now that he's bigger. So he kind of gets he, down on all, on, he kind of leans his, his front down with his rear end up and he starts to uncurl his wings as he gets ready for some kind of confrontation. Alright, now at this time, I believe it is enough time for everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> I'm like, when are we going to roll? <laughs> Hey, I've been ready. <coughs> hey, initiative. 21. Yeah. I rolled 17, 12, 19. Five. Five. I have a 17. Does my initiative go up with my bubble? No, it goes up. It's, it's, it matches your dexterity. Um, oh, okay. Mod. My dexterity mod. Okay. It matches your dick mod. Lol. Dick mod. The best modifier. So negative three. Godiva right. doesn't have one of those for some reason. So negative three millimeters. <laughs> cool. Alright, can we all repeat uh, our initiatives again? So 25 to 20. 19. Me. No, no, me. Raphael. What'd you get, Raphael? 21. How do you have a plus nine in dexterity? Because my alert gives me a plus five to my initiative. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Feats. Alrighty, mm. and then a nineteen for Omar. Anyway, so nineteen to fifteen. I have a seventeen. Seventeen for Hewitt. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Uh, fifteen to ten. Godiva has a 13. Sangus has 12. Party. Um, so Zangus, Godiva. Godiva. All right, 10 to 5. Folklore has a 5. <laughs> 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 he is not aware at all of what's going on right now. He just sees a dragon get bigger. 
Boko is just standing at the back, like, oh, look at it's a, a nice mob day crusher. Here. He sees the he he sees the asshole of a captain binds him, and all of a sudden there's a big ass dragon behind him. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, do we need a battle map for this, or can we do theater of the mind? Theater of the mind. I'm All right, trying to theater of the mind. Good. Mm -hmm. So, don't have a battle, battle map. map. Ready. That's the thing that I don't have ready. <laughs> Just to be difficult. Just so we're all clear. What? The captain? You didn't think we'd want to kill him now? Hang on, listen. Right now, in my mind, I'm like, okay, there's a captain plus, like, all these fucking guards. I don't know how many guards. All yeah, right. actually, how many guards are there? Because I've sent four overboard, right? You sent four overboard. There are, and Zangus has sent two overboard. Um, we, there were we, 12 we, guards before. So there are six, six, six yes, more guards. Six more guards. Now there's left. 16. <laughs> So six guards, oh, six guards and a captain. We got this. Wait, did we, were we ever able to get the captain earthbound? The captain is uh, in earth, yeah. earthbound right now. And is that concentration? Was the duration of that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the concentration. What's the duration? A uh, minute. Concentration up to a minute? Yes, sir. All right, so... At the start of the battle, the Earthbind, he's going to have one turn in the Earthbind, I'll say, and then we can, uh, he'll have another, and then he'll be free from it. <laughs> so I'll be a generous god. <laughs> so, first off, Raphael, you're down, not on the ship exactly, it, the, going up to where everyone else is, it's probably around 70 to 80 feet away. 70 to 80 feet away. Correct. You're um, down with these merchants I'm right now. No one, none of the guards have noticed that you're really gone. Um, what, uh, and, and you notice that, and you, you can hear a commotion. You can't exactly see, but you can start to hear a commotion. Did I see and a you dragon get bigger? You definitely see a door get a little bit larger. Okay. Do I see anyone with weapons around me? Um, Other than for, like, these guards walking past? Roll me a perception check real quick. Ah, ten. No, it's it's you, you're looking around. It, there doesn't seem to be anyone else around right now. So you're you're on your own with your wit. I mean, are there still guards passing me though? I wanted to see if there was anyone else other than guards. I, I mean, well, yeah, you don't see anyone else that might that would have any weapon. Okay. Can I try and take a weapon off a guard? And like a side a side weapon, like a sidearm. Okay, so you're gonna go up to a guard and you're gonna try and steal their weapon? Um Do they only have their big ass swords? Everyone all of them have a a standard short sword out right now. Or a long sword. And they Can all they're all they're all cheap? No, they're all drawn right now. So that's or the they're going or they're going to be drawn. From the ones that you can see they're all drawn. Okay. Mm. I'll, I'll start making my way back to the ship, trying trying to be stealthy, and I'll move, what, 30, 35 feet towards the ship. Okay. So you're on you're on the dock. You're on the on you you're walking up the ramp right now, getting up onto the ship, and you're about to go onto the ship. That's about 35 feet away. Okay. So you're on that. that. So you're on the ramp right now. All right. Next up is the captain who's currently bound. I'm sorry. Unless there's anything else you want to do as a bonus action. Um. Cry. <laughs> no. Okay. So the captain is bound up for a turn. He's kind of struggling. Um. He's kind of he's kind of struggling, and he's and he's. All right, man. I'm giving you the order. Kill them all. Ruh -ruh 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 
And with that, a more ferocious uh, ferocity kind of comes into a lot of the, the guards' eyes. Omar, you're up. Um, does Omar know if his uh, pirate crew has um, weapons on him? Do you know if the if you know the crew has weapons? Like, yeah, do I know if... I would assume we wouldn't, just because all of our shit was stolen. Uh, from what like, you can see, like well, you saw you saw everyone's equipment in in the in the area, so, yeah, so no one has your equipment knows, on. No one has anything. Got it. Okay. Well, and Omar's in like chains right now, correct? Correct. Um, I'm assuming there's someone in front of Omar, and Omar is just going to produce You're poison shackled. spray. I am shackled, I know. Um, you are shackled, and you also don't have your stick with you. Um, do I need my stick for cantrips? You do not need your stick for cantrips. <laughs> yeah, that's what this is. Okay, so... Doesn't it, it just depend on the components? Uh, magic casting is weird like that, so if you take away a wizard spell book, they'll be able to cast the spells that they have prepared, um, but they won't have their spell focus unless they have a component pouch. And I'm pretty yeah, and they can't prepare any other spells that they know. So for Yeah, but if you have if you have verbal and somatic components, you're fine to do the spell. Correct. Because that's just gestures and words. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, on your spells, if you look at it, if it says components on anything, it has V and S, you're fine, you can do those. Oh. It's just if it has an you, M, you. you're in trouble. Okay. So... So I can do anything with a V and S on it? As long as there's no M, you're good to go. Uh, shoot. Well, M is for a material. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the poison spray right now. Okay. So poison spray, that's a cantrip, I believe. Um, do you yep. roll an attack roll on that, or what am I rolling? So, you roll a constitution saving throw. You, you would still have to roll an attack roll for that, because you are trying to damage them. I think the constitution is just to see if it takes half damage or not. No, I'm starting to attack. Says, the creature must succeed on yeah. one constitution saving throw or take 1d12, but since I'm fed yeah. level, it's 2d12. He, he just makes a constitution saving throw. Okay. It's either an attack or it's a yeah. con Marty. saving throw. She's making a con. He feels that like this, then I attack. Yep, that's a fail. So, what I say? 2d12s. Sorry, my game is lagging. Tell me if any of these roll. You rolled one, you rolled two. Okay. Awesome. I have no All idea. Right. Oh, there it is. It's so, that's a there. total of 13 damage. She's going to take it right to the face as. As even bound, he kind of he kind of mustered up some stuff, and you kind of belch out this uh, poison spray, sort sort of like Iro from the last Airbender, just kind of, awesome. and he just kind of sprayed all exactly over it. Yeah, spray all over the orc's face, and she kind of leans back, and she kind of gives out a, 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 an orcish just just gnarly scream, as you can see the sizzling um, of her flesh kind of start to take place. Can I move after I attack? I forgot. Uh, yes, you can. Can I move into her and try to push her off? She's not near the edge of the ship. Oh. No, she's about 20 feet away from it. I just want to move towards my stick then. I'm just going to move towards my stick then. Okay, so you 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 rock <laughs> up to her. Um, she's right in front of you. So are you going to try to take your... Uh, yeah. Try to take your... Uh, okay. Okay. 
So, um, I guess roll me a, um, just roll me a dexterity check as a bonus action to try and take your stick back. What'd you say, dex? Um, dex, not saving throw, just a dex. That is 11, 12, 13. Not gonna make it, boss. Alrighty. Next up. Hewen. Alright, sorry, I was muted. Um... <laughs> Who's the closest to me? Would that be the captain? Um... Yeah, the captain and other guard are, are pretty close to you. Alright, uh, I'll go ahead and make a... Uh, my lightning node attacks against him for my chest piece. Alrighty. Alright. So you're going to go over and you're going to try to make those attacks? Yep. Uh, I think you have to roll an attack for that, right? Yeah, I'll just do two since I'm, I have extra attack. Uh, one's an at 20, one's a 2. Uh, I doubt a, uh, I doubt a 9 hits, but, but uh, an at 20. Good job, good job. So, um, yeah, so roll damage real quick. Remember we're doing cowboy crits, so yep. it's gonna be max, so it's, it's max damage yeah. possible with your modifiers. And then yeah, you roll again. Of, uh, I get to pick one of my attacks to do 2d6 instead of 1d6 lightning, so I'll okay. 2d6. So, so that's that going to be 12, 12 plus, plus 4. Plus so that's four for 16 the first one for the plus 16 plus 9 plus 4. That's going to be 16 13. plus 13 for a total uh, of 29. 29 oh, sorry, damage. yeah, 20, 29. Lightning so, damage. So you come in, it's coming right from your chest piece, right? Yeah, it's like a little crystal node on my chest piece. Like yeah. I have that pirate, this pirate coat on, and it's like on this little armor underneath. So so you kind of like, you kind of like open up, up your up your chest and you kind of fill around with your armor and your chest piece glows and it sends out this giant unibeam going straight for the captain's just chest. As, as you do so, the earth vine comes undone from this. The whole that part of the ship that's holding him down comes undone as you just see this giant electric just burned scar right in the center of his chest. And as you try to do it again, you don't get as much energy this time. It doesn't go nearly as far. Um, but the first one just went and that you said was 29 damage, correct? Yes, lightning, so. Alrighty. And I believe that'll be my turn. Alright. So after that, it is going to be the guards' turns. So the first guard, the one that's closest to Hewen, is going to come up and he's going to try and make an attack with his short sword against you uh, two times. And they both miss. So this, cool. this orc comes up to you, not really expecting you to be in full plate armor underneath your coat, um, comes up and he starts banging on you with the sword, but it's hitting in just the right parts of the armor, and you just feel nothing from it. Uh, the second awesome. guard, the one that Omar uh, did the uh, acid splash in the face to, uh, she's, going to she's going to wipe off all of the, the goop on on her, and she's going to attack with her short sword against you, Omar, um, making two attacks. A natural 20 and a 14. 14 don't hit. Did you hear me? Yeah. 
So okay. a fourteen, a fourteen hits or a fourteen doesn't hit. Fourteen does not hit. Okay. So for the first one, that's going to be max damage. So that's going to be six plus four, so ten plus another d twenty or another d six, and that's going to be five plus four, so a total of nineteen damage. Um, as she takes this blade and she sort of starts swinging wildly in your general direction and gets you right in the arm, um, making a nice, making a nice gash right across, across your, uh, right across uh, the side of your bicep going over to your tricep. Awesome. All right, next up, guard number three, um, he is going to go over and try to get Hewan again for attacking the captain. So two attacks coming to Hewan. All right, that's the first one is a 17 plus six or not plus four, so that's going to be a yep. 21. So that's going to hit and then uh, attack. Yeah. So here's 1d6. That's going to be 9 damage. Alright. And for the... And the other ones, one of them is going to try to attack um, Zangus. And one of them is going to try to attack Jesse. So these two are coming to Zangus. So a 15 plus 4, a 19. Yeah. Alright, and then a 12. No. Alright, that's 8 damage. Yay! Yay! And then we'll have one more, because I see that was one, two, three, four, and then one more coming to Zangus, and then one coming to Jesse. Whack. A 19. And a 10. So one hits, I assume. Yeah, which one? Who's taking the yeah. name? Who, who is this? Who? This is for this is for Zangus, and then we have one more coming to Jesse. Why are oh, two attack? I got multi attack. Oh. Yep, they all got multi attack. Yeah, it's, it's the same. One hits, one doesn't. Okay. That's going to be ten. Uh, not ten. That's going to be uh, eight damage. Oh, not eight, six damage. I apologize. Bruh. And then the final two are coming to Jesse. So a 19 and a 12. Awesome. One is going to hit. As it's doing that, I would like to use my reaction. I can use it whenever I'm being damaged by a creature within 50, 60 feet of me that I can see. Uh, what are you using? I'm going to use Hellish Rebuke at first level. Awesome. So is that... Uh, do you want to do some damage for me first and then I'll do that afterwards? Or do I do mine first? Uh, oh, let's do this just 1d6 against you first. Sure. That's 10 damage. Awesome. I take that. And then I will do this. Um, You have to make a Dexterity Saving Throw. A Dexterity Saving Throw. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, that is going to be a 10. 10, you fail. So you are going to take, well, I guess the guard is not going to take, not you, yourself. You're going to take 2d10 fire damage. Okay. This could be big. Full damage. Come on, hi. Seven plus six. Help, math, is that 13? 13. 13. 13. Jesse, it adds it for you. Oh, I forgot, I'm on a different page. I'm looking at adventuring on a dime at the moment. <laughs> I don't think I get to add anything to it, but I'll still do that. And I'll look and I'll be like, don't touch me. Oh, 
Oh, also, guys, look what I bought my, for myself for this special occasion. Ooh. It's a good time for chocolate bar. <laughs> I <do. laughs> She was eating one the one night and she was like, that'd be a good D&D name. Literally, it was... <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Alrighty. After this, Godiva, it's your turn. Oh uh, yeah. After the, okay. after all the guards go right after one another. Great. Um. How hurt is the guard that bugged me looking? He looking bloody? Um. Let me use some math. It was fire damage. Does that do anything special? <laughs> Not to this guy, no. No, oh, well. Uh, he, uh, he, he's looking bloodied. How is the the jerky lady who's attacking my son looking as well? Uh, she looks about the same. Great. Um, I would prioritize my son. I'm going to Elder's Blast... I guess... No, I'll do one on each. You know what? I can do that. I'm gonna Eldritch Blast one of each. I'm gonna blast the person at me and the person at my son. Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Oh. Wait, no. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14 versus AC? Um... For the one that's hitting Omar? A 14 will hit. Okay, and then the other one is only a nine, so I'm thinking that yeah, one's that going one, to mess. That one hit. Okay, so she is going to take a little damage. She's also going to scooch back ten, ten squares. Does Omar get an attack at opportunity order as she scoots away? Uh, Probably not. <laughs> Shot. <laughs> yes, Omar would get an attack at opportunity. Oh, great. Okay, so she is going mm. to take six, seven, eight, nine. She's going to take nine damage. And she's going to scooch back 10 feet, and he's going to get an attack of opportunity. So what she's do I got going to, to take 6 damage. 9 you damage. Can, you can just... I have a charisma bonus to it. Oh, 9, nine damage. damage. Okay. 9 damage. She did. If only. So, Omar, you can make a standard attack. You can try to do 1 damage. Uh, because you don't have your quarter staff with yeah, you, whatever. so roll. Just roll. Roll the hit. Punch him or her. Just roll d twenty. Yep, and okay. add. Yeah, just roll. Roll a d twenty. Add your strength modifier, right? No, because he's not proficient. It doesn't matter. Oh. So awesome. that's one so extra zero. damage. Ooh. Ten damage she taken. She did. Thanks, Omar. Hey. So next up on the list is Zangus. Zangus. How is she not it's dead? Time to, um, Zangus, it's time to bonk. Zangus, oh, there, there are two guards um, that just came up to you and, and, and just did a little, the little, little cuts on you. Little cuts, tis but a stretch. Yeet! We're yeah. going to throw him over the boat. Okay, roll me and... Okay. Yeah, roll me an athletics check. Yeah. I have a question. What's Dory doing right now? Dory is standing by. Yeah, did Dory, did Dory roll initiative? Dory did roll initiative. He kind of whatever the hell. Twenty. He so you take. So you look at that guy and you just kind of. No. And you just take him and you just. Poop, and you just chuck him off the side. Into the water he below. drops his sword on the boat. He drops yeah. his sword on the ship. That's not what happens. God damn right. it! I tried. Um, and you can look down below. It looks like the guards that you that you put into the into the sea, uh, they're swimming towards the shore right now. That's fine. So there's one in front of me still. There's one still in front of you. Can I attack him? Um, as a bonus action, yes. Cool. I would um. I would like to attempt to disarm him in this action. Um, okay. So, that would be attacking. So, give me a... Give me just a standard strength check. As you're trying yeah, to bud. pry the sword out of this guy's hand. Oh, he's got this. Hey, no, I don't. Oh, no. <laughs> why, do you, why do you say things? 
Why do you say things? You know what, Zingus? <laughs> this is the first time you've felt in a while that uh, people combating your strength. You know, you've been on all these, you've been on all these islands. You haven't really met a lot of strong men, and now you're just surrounded by strong men. And so you just like. Can I rage and try again? Uh, next round you can, because raging is a no, bonus action. I want to, I want to do it now. Raging is a bonus action. Right, right now. Nope. I'm just so angry. I ignore. Folklore, it is your turn. <laughs> Screw you, with the coast. <laughs> he said, "Go fuck yourself." Um, are there any guards like? Oh, I don't know. That just so happened to be in a straight line. From where you're at? Uh-huh. Um, the, ca the, ca the, the, ca the, captain, the captain seems to be in a straight line. Um, and, the, and the two guards over by Hewan, if you were like the turn, what, uh, what are you trying to do in a straight line? <laughs> Lightning bolt. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, okay, I'd say if you were to... If you were to do move about twenty feet over to the side, over by the edge of the ship, you would be able to line up one of the guards with the captain. I shall do that. Okay. Roll. What needs to be rolled, or do I need Logan to roll sees, something? Logan sees me do like a lightning attack, and he's like, "I could do that too." A 16 and a 13. A 16 and a 13. Um, the 16 hits the guard, but the 13 does not hit the captain. Damn. Okay. So I'll roll damage for the first guy. Just roll 20 d6s. I think that's accurate. Huh? It is lightning, just saying. Ah, eight of them works. 25 damage. Yeah, you just, you fry this guard up good. Um, he wasn't expecting it. So, yeah, yeah, do a nice, and most of the lightning goes into the first guard as it travels back and it kind of curves around to the captain himself. He kind of sees it coming, and he kind of quickly does a quick little foof out of the way um, in preparation for spellcasters now attacking. All right, next up is Door. Door, why? How did he get an initiative so low? Because he less big. than five. Because I oh. put it so low. Whack. His initiative. Whack. Susan's like Goku right now. Like, he's always Whack. fashionably late. <laughs> We're all gonna be like doing death saves, and, and Susan's gonna show up, like, hi guys, I'm Goku. <laughs> Susan's gonna come. Ha, ha. Goku, I'm Krillin. <laughs> Goku! Go. Alright, so. God damn it, not again. So, Dora is going to attempt to use its acid breath. Oh, and it's going to be a forty-foot line. So I'm trying to I'm trying to think this out right now. Okay, so ship is right here. Doors all the way in the back. It's not gonna. It's gonna go over. Actually, it would. It's gonna hit Omar. It's gonna hit. Can it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit all the guards and the I captain. I produce flame while he's doing that and set it on fire. That's not how acid works. <laughs> Good it's, try. It's not gasoline. <laughs> So it's going to get, it's... Well, you never know. It's going to hit Omar. Well, I get it. I fucking um, set you to life and you're going to fucking throw acid on me. It's going to hit Hewan. Hey, it's going to hit Hewan. It's not going to hit Folklore. It's not going to hit Godiva. Um, and it's not going to hit Zangus. Yay! But it's going to hit Omar and... Hewan because I get it's yeah, a race that's, thing. That's no, it's you. a race thing. Because I'm a druid, it's fine. Don't you mean don't you mean a class thing then? True. Actually, before he before he does it, he's gonna try to move up one because he wouldn't try to hit you, Omar. 
Because he's going to try to move up one and over so he can still hit everyone. But in doing Damn so, <laughs> in, in, in doing so, it's going to hit. Um, fight. It, it's going Good to hit. Question. It's going to hit folklore. So, is it? <laughs> so is it? Is it dim light outside? It's. Is it it's like, like late? six o'clock at night in the summer? Which. So. So it's it's, it's starting to, it's starting to get there. It's starting to get there. So would so, it count uh, as dim light? It did not count as dim light. Okay, thanks. It's still there's still Fuck plenty you, of daylight. Thanks. So they're all gonna need to make Constitution saving throws. So I'm gonna roll for everyone first. Hey, that's okay for me. So let me just go over here because they all have the same con modifier. Advanced dice roller, open the fuck up. Open up, advanced dice are roller. These are these considered beasts? No, they are orcs. They are not considered beasts. They're people. I don't, people. Know. I don't know what the fuck. I'm just reading this. I don't know what the fuck a beast would be. A wolf. I got an 18, uh, man. Oh, I, got, I got an I got an 11. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Coy was so excited, bro. I, do, I have I I have like. Proficiency in con because I'm an artificer, but no, it's like, nah, you're good. Wait, technically, is it a magic or spell attack? Um, it's a breath weapon. Would so, that count? Because if it's magic resistance, I'll count it. Wait, okay, cool. Okay, thank you, advantage. So, that's a fail, that's a fail, that's a pass, a fail, a fail, a fail, and a pass. Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, that's funny. <laughs> fail, fail. Why can't you roll One, that two, on anything else? Four, five, I, that's my second at 20 already. Shut fails. up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. That's Sorry. some Barden rolls. So the captain succeeds, and one other guard <laughs> succeeds. Um, but everyone else, who else uh, succeeded? I got a net 20. So I got succeed. what I say. Yeah, and you also succeed. So everyone else is going to take um I did tell him to do something. Uh, there there it is. You know what though Ross he's doing it. That thumb just so happen to hurt your ass and my ass. You know, at least he's doing something. He's listening, sort of. <laughs> Hang on, he's been he's trying his best. Okay. 98. He's been a dragon for like two hours. He doesn't know exactly what he's doing, he's just doing shit. Maybe not even two hours. It might only be like an hour. All right. So every guard, it, you just see 38 damage. So first off, half of 38, that's going to be motherfucking. Uh, <laughs> Still a lot. Math, 19. math, math, math. Yeah. 19. So folklore and Hewan, you both take 19 damage. Ouch. Um, the fucked. captain all the captain also takes nineteen damage. Yeah. Take damage. Are they dead yet? Um the captain is Just on his last know. limb. Just yes. so everyone knows, if I had missed that save, I would be down right now. And oh. so so you just see Dor come up and he's like he's like Okay guys, we'll go try some. <laughs> And he says, I got it. And he just opens his mouth, and this sort of like dripping starts to come off, and then it's just like a geyser of this black ichor just kind of comes out, and just bruh, all over just everyone that I said. But you just see all the guards on the ship. It, it's it's kind of a it's it's a, it's a gnarly sight because you see them you see them get drenched, and then you see them physically start to melt into the black ichor. And start to shrink and get smaller. Um, it, it's some it, it's some Warhammer Nurgle shit. They they get Ooh. disintegrated, and <laughs> you can see the captain. He's still standing. You can see it, like part of his jaws like exposed. He's angry. He's holding on. Um, and uh, yeah. Yay! Actually, wait. That count? I'm not gonna count it. I'm not that mean. All right. Thank you. 
I was gonna say, technically they all have orcish endurance. But... <laughs> I was gonna say, that'd be whack. <laughs> yeah, all of them start to, to physically melt into the floor as um, the floor itself starts to melt a little bit as well. A ship! Oh well. Alright, now top of the round, Raphael. You just saw all this happen. There's this, there's this steamy acid on the ground. It's not going to hurt you if you step over it. It's just for more flavor. Um, what do you do? Do I see any weapons laying on the ground? Or are they melted as well? They're starting to <laughs> melt as well. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? There's, there is, there is one, there is one dagger that is, that is perfectly just kind of drawn into the ground. Okay. Hey, okay. be happy that the fucking <laughs> weapon is useless. <laughs> All right, I am, I'm also assuming that I am now back in the Pass Without a Trace clouds. Yes? Uh, correct. Okay. I'm going to walk over. I'm going to pick up a dagger stealthily. Oh, stealthy. Okay. You can do that just fine. Okay. I pick up the dagger. Do I see any guards in my immediate vicinity? The that only I can walk person up to left. Now? The only person left is a captain. Kill him. Execute him. Come on, Please kill execute him. him. Yes. I'm going to walk up. Bro. I'm going to walk up behind the captain. And I'm gonna I'm gonna attack him with my dagger. Slit his right. throat. Roll to hit. Okay. Rolls in that twenty. Please. Twenty one. <laughs> anyway. That's gonna hit. Jesse, come here. You're going to silly place. Okay. Are you gonna sneak attack? Sure. Yes, I'm definitely way. sneak attack. Go down here. All right. All right. I am rolling one d four plus three. Uh, yep. so four plus three d6 hope that's not the way so I'm gonna hit him with 13 damage all right end this Raphael yay hmm. fuck a bee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay I'm gonna just pull the dagger around his neck and just slit or her throat slit her throat it's the captain it's, it's the guy um, oh, I thought you said it was a girl. Okay, I'm gonna slit his throat. Yep, so you come around and you just. Do you say anything as you do it? Uh. Fuck. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just gonna fucking do it. <laughs> I'm okay. just gonna fucking do it. So you just sneak up behind. It looks like. The captain's about to say something. He's about to do something. Mm. He's gonna try something. You just come around his, and he just lift <sighs> his throat. falls to the ground. His face lands right into a pile of of the acid that's still on the ground. As his face, the rest of it just kind of melts into the black sludge. And with that, as he is... um, Sorry. initiative is gonna be over. As he is like currently almost melting, <laughs> I would like to run over and see if he has anything on him, such as uh, gold, like, keys, orders, uh, like anything. Man. Like, roll me an uh, investigation. Investigate the body. I would like I... to go unlock the handcuffs on Omar. Okay. I would like to try to break out of the handcuffs. I would like to try and look for some gold. <laughs> okay. Uh, for, so for, the, for the two people investigating, roll me the investigation checks. I have a 19. I got a 19. Okay, so that's a 19. And what you get, Raphael? Oh, um, investigation. Hold on. Um, damn, this sucks. A, not, a, a six. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, Raphael. You just did something kind of cool, but also there's all this acid everywhere. You're not one to kind of put your fingers where they don't belong. Um, so Excuse you're just, me. You're just kind of put like, my oh, fingers where they don't belong. Yikes! Okay. It's it's all it's all itchy and yucky and, and gross. You don't want to touch that stuff. Ugh, gross. I'm used to working around dangerous stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, Hugh, and you just dig right in on that shit, dog. And 
Let me know if you find some gold. You find uh, not much digging through the other people's supplies. You find um, you find some some miscellaneous like ooh like a, a couple of coins. At most, I'd say searching all the bodies, you'd find about eight gold total. Um, eight gold, captain. two silver, seven copper. There you go. Okay. And the captain? And, well, the captain has a map of Orkton, the first nice. island. He also uh, has a long sword on him that's still in good condition. Yoink. <laughs> And then he also seems to have a set of keys. I'll take the keys, take the map. I'll give the long. I'll toss the long sword to, uh, um, Zengis. I'm not proficient. Zengis, right. I'll, I'll throw and you Omar, the, you do the get long your, sword. Uh, you do get your staff back. Um, and, yeah. and the shackles come off you easy enough. Okay, yeah. You said he had gold armor? Uh, is, he, uh, did, he did have gold. It's, it was just gold plated. So it was just like okay. symbolized that he was a captain. Um, so after this, no, acid plated. A after all this, um, Dor shrinks down to his original size. Oh. And he's Sad. gonna go, Oh man, I, did, I didn't even know I had that hit me. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! Wow. I thought I was gonna be fired or something. That was, that's, that was a lot grosser. And just so you know, only Jesse and uh, Nate can hear that voice. Yeah, and next time he pisses me off, I'll do reduce on him. <laughs> no, but on a specific Next time he hits me with an acid attack, I'll do reduce <laughs> on him. That, that, <laughs> that won't, it won't stop the damage of the acid attack. <laughs> just to tease his ass. Um, but yeah, um, there is a like... hole in your ship, uh, on, on the main deck of your ship now. Um, there, there's a, a lot, the a lot, majority of your ship is, is black and burnt and, and melted from the, the black ichor that, uh, the black ichory acid that Dor threw out of his mouth. And hey, hey, there man. also hey, seems man. to be from the earth shape, a couple of boards that are kind of bent up and swirled around in, in the, in the exact spot where, um, Folklore used earth find on the captain of the guards. Is it? Hey, hey, is Matt. It saleable. Yes. In, is there still a giant sword on deck too? No. They took it. No. Again, no! every everyone was rickety robbed. I told y'all that. You bastard. Okay. No one paid attention. All is your the ship all the animals are gone. All your stuff is gone. The bed sheets in the girls' room are gone. They took like the three blankets that were in the guys' room. Did they take my hammock? No, they oh, left no, the, the captain. Oh, okay. the, the captain's quarters. Quarters for all the letters and stuff. No. The captain's oh, we quarters. Gotta find that stuff. If you go to the captain's quarters, the captain's quarters is yes. cleaned out. All Shoot, the, we gotta find all all the furniture shit. and everything has been taken out. There is there is nothing left behind. No, Any of your compartments on the ship that we didn't know of? You Apparently are... there was a fucking treasure trove in the bottom that we didn't know of. Yeah, I knew about that. Anything else? Is there still an oven in the kitchen? Did yes. they take the oven? No, they, they took most, the they oven. most of the kitchen supplies. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Okay. Did I but all, your, all, is, your barrels of food, all your barrels sailed. of food of water are gone. <gasps> is the ship uh, water worthy? Like... At least not like open water, me, but kind give of. Give me the... an investigation check. Can Omar do it too because he's good at sailing stuff? A 17. Oh, no, we're fine. You, you know what? If you were to go off onto the Thousand Isles right now, you know that it is uh, basically a death wish without your map and with the sh condition that your ship's in. You need to fix your ship. But if you want to try and sail to another part of the island, it, it yes. Could, it could, I was thinking it, it about be, trying to sail be, to the location. It'd be seaworthy. It'd be seaworthy. Yeah. Basically, the location of where our stuff is, yes. which is Fort Bay. But the map that you got is the map of Orkin that I handed out to yeah. you guys. So that you guys are looking at right now. Can I go and ask Dor and point at the map and say, 
So is where is the place where our things are? All right. Well, Dor is going to zoom out on the map as I'm doing right now, and he's going to go all the way up to the top to this area right here. Fort Bain. Fort Bain. Fort right. Bain. So, could the ship get there? To like here. The ship Not to like here. Could get there. Um, from what you know. But docking is would be a risky situation. Um, you but still we have, have an anchor. You, you have your anchor, um, but and, and you still have your your little boat. Um, but, and we have a dragon. Hey, crap. Um, what's up with what's his name? Hmm. Janus. Yeah. Janus. Janus. Yeah. What happened during the fight? Hugh Janus. Um. He seemed to. He was fucking dipped. <laughs> no, he he was hiding in the captain's room. Okay, cool. Um, I just wanted to. Hey, what was he doing in there? He was just hiding. He didn't. He he did. He's a little that. bitch. Hey, don't be mean to the man who gave me his trench coat. Omar really wants to. Play. I, I'm I'm sorry. It's it's a fighting over. I I, I do not really wish for violence. As he it's steps out, as he out. steps out onto the deck and he sees the the melted corpses of <laughs> all the the people around, he just kind of <laughs> and he runs over to the side of the ship and he just hurls everything that was, um, he just hurls up everything inside of him. I'm gonna go pat him on the back. Okay. Hey, kids, Angus, can you make me an investigation check? Or no, a bat Persepi. Sure. <laughs> He's got a. So just like, ooh, I found him. I roll. wasn't gonna do that too. I'm like, eh, fuck it. I guess I will. Can I roll fat perception to find out how big his butt is? Uh, okay. Uh, D20 plus four. Yeah, it was real stupid. Yeah. Natural to Wendy. Matt, what did you want to tell but me? That's a stick ass. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. His measurements are. <laughs> so. His gluteus maximus. It's <laughs> quite well. His gluteus is maximus. So. As he's puking over onto the side, it's kind of a familiar looking kind of gooeyness that's coming out of him. And it seems as soon as it hits mm. the water, it just kind of disappears. What? What is he wearing right now? Uh, he was wearing the trench coat that Godiva is now wearing, but right now he's just wearing a, a simple, um, he's just wearing a simple, like, half jacket um, that, that seems like it's going down to his waist, and he's wearing a nice long uh, one one side is covered in the sleeve on the other side. Um, it seems the actual shirt was ripped and it's just all of his mechanical arm that's exposed. As one eye is closed and he also seems to have a weird compartment that also seems to be ripped, almost singed a little bit, where this weird mechanical heart now sits. Can I, can I lift up the back of his shirt while he's puking? Uh, give me a slight hand. Oh, I'm sure this will go well. <laughs> <laughs> this will be. I actually do have a plus one in it though, so that's cool. A twelve. Um, roll out advantage. You're not the gentlest. Being off the side of the. I don't need to be. Okay, what, what, what do you roll at advantage since he's uh, kind of hurling? <laughs> so, yeah, you are fine. I'll give him advantage. I'll give him advantage. <laughs> We we've all had those moments. Give the right. boy advantage. All right, there you team. go. <laughs> all right, yeah, you're able you're able to lift up his shirt. What are you trying to? What you, what you, it's, it's his shirt. Is it all mechanical? His whole no. torso. No, it is not. So is his his back that I've exposed by lifting the shirt up? There's flesh there. Um, there's flesh. But it's also kind of like glistening a little bit. And if you look close, it's almost like the scale of like a lizard or a dragon. All right. Is he done puking? He is done puking. 
Oh, oh heavens me. Right. That's... I'm gonna motion I over do... to the rest of the crew. I do hate the most... think... Oh, hello. I think Giannis is due for a little more investigation, so I'm gonna pull him away from the side of the boat, put him in between me and everyone else that's on the deck, and I'm going to lift up his shirt up so it's like mid like chest. Huh? Right um, as, as, as you're doing that, he's like, oh, what, what happens? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't, I'm not sure what he is, but I'd like to find out before I can trust him. Okay, at this point, Godiva is going to lower the thing that she is wearing, and you're also going to see a very similar looking scale pattern on her, and she's going to say, that's not a big deal, I have that too. I'm very confused by the fact that she is the same thing. What? Yes. Why are you guys panicking over this like, thing? Is this isn't a big deal. Does it look like, uh, what does it look like? Can you describe it? So it's a scale pattern? It's scales, so like yeah. Dragon scale scales. Pattern. I mean, they, they look kind of like reptile-y, dragon-y, scaly things. Yeah. But are, are they What's scales? What's the big deal? Does door like, scales like, look similar? Um, well, door scales are more hardened and actually like in a roll where they're kind of plated on top of each other. Godiva's back, uh, specifically her, the, the area down her spine, kind of has that, it kind of has a, a weird sparkle to it. Um, and, and hers Anyone? seems to be, hers seems to be more concentrated, while if you, when you, when you, t when you forcibly, you know, lift it up, Yanis' shirt, um, it's just like kind of spotty. Mm -hmm. Almost, it's it's kind of spotty, almost like like uh, not like not like sores, but like they're, they're spotty in a way that like chicken pox would be. But it's just like, like these a little rash, tiny, but yeah, like scaly. a rash. But it's kind of like these little little scaly areas. Do I recognize this from anywhere? Is it from like another creature I would have seen in the Feylands? Roll me a religion check. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> Eleven. Um, no clue. You've, you have no idea. You've never heard of people just getting scaly marks on them. Would you've my seen, you have seen you've seen Dragonborn before, but you've never seen. Um, it doesn't look like this. No, it does not look like this. I didn't think so. Would my druid background or like animal background like know what type of scales those were? Uh, give me a nature check. Interesting. Yeah. Nature. Okay. You guys are worried over nothing. That's not a big deal. Twelve. Hang on. Nature. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Uh, sixteen. Yep. You can tell that these are. It's definitely some dragon ancestry that seems to be coming out of them. Um, Godiva seems to be more concentrated, while Yanis's seems to be more kind of sporadic. Um, almost not as natural. Does anyone recognize what these are from? I'm asking in character. I see. Nay, nay. I see. Some people are just bored with them. It's not a big deal. That's not true. I, I, it's I will completely say, please, true. Can I, can I please put my shirt back on? It's. Oh yeah, sure. I I put a sh I like. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You can relax. It is completely true. Some people are just born with scales. Inside me. Being Dragon from scales. the yeah. land, I know. Yeah. What was that, Logan? I, being from the Feylands, would I have seen something like this? Roll me an Omar, did you say they're dragon scales? Yep, dragon scales. Looks like dragon scales. I'm gonna lift Giannis's shirt back up. And, like, Could you please stop doing this? That's as their hardness. I feel like they're they're like fleshy, right? They're not hard. I know jack shit. Um, yeah, the texture kind of changes, but it's still it's still like if you were to poke it, it's still like skin. This wouldn't armor for anything. It would not protect them from anything. Can I... Oh, please, please stop. I'm quite to stand. Please. 
Can I poke his scales and then poke Doris scales at the same time? Um, Doris scales are hard, and you poke them, and they make like kind of like metal ting, and then you poke, uh, and then you poke Giannis's uh, little scaly pattern, and it's just kind of, it's fleshy. All right, folks, let's uh, let's get to the matter at hand. I'll uh, I'll show the map to, um. Omar, I say, say with your sailing background, do you can you get us there? Help us get us there. I look at him. I go, do doors fly? <laughs> <laughs> Not well, unless polymorphed. Yes, actually. I mean, <laughs> technically they could. And and. Then I, I, and while everyone's talking, just go exactly, and I go <laughs> over to the helm. <laughs> right. While he's doing that, I I suggest that we uh, toss some of these decayed bodies overboard. Less weight, the better. All right, you, uh, yeah, you can toss the bodies overboard right? easy enough. Uh, Yanis is gonna go sit in the kitchen area of the boat. As Omar, you go up to the captain's. Uh, up to the captain's level, and you go to the wheel uh, right yeah. behind Omar wants the to talk captain's to door. I would okay. also like to go down to the kitchens. Yeah, I want to talk to the door, too. Okay. Yeah, so Omar what, wants what's, to talk to the door. What do you want to talk to the door about? Go ahead, Quilly. I got fine. Oh, um, I was... Door, um... By any chance, could you... Could you fly back to, uh this Fort Bane and uh, just see what's going on back there and report. Are they preparing for anything? How many men? Just kind of a flyby. I believe I certainly could. That would be no trouble at all. It would take right, me well, a while to get over there. My flying speed still isn't uh, the best. Uh, the body I currently in is, is quite young. Well, it's going to take us a while to get off and uh, going, so... Uh, but I believe if you were to set sail, you would make it there before me. What? Excuse me. A dragon's flying speed, a young dragon's flying speed is only eight miles per hour. All right, well, that doesn't help. It's slow. All right, never mind. That's its uh, <laughs> standard cruising speed. Uh, well, uh, perhaps what when we get there, drafting? you can go ahead and uh, scout it out while we're says... anchoring and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, but for the flying speed, it says so right in the DMG, because it has, um, the example of flying on a griffin for travel, and, um, a young dragon has the same speed as a griffin, so, they both have an 80 foot fly speed, so, yeah. it's so only, it's only about make, 8 miles per hour. While we're anchoring and, like, dinging to, sur to the land, we'll, uh, he can go check out and just do a flyby and see what the status is. Alright, so you're gonna set sail? Yes. Yeah. Alrighty. As you set sail, um first off Boat dies. Omar, roll me an animal handling check, because that'll be the check for boats. Oh, also I'm gonna cure wounds myself. <laughs> ben, Ben's look of confusion just like excuse me. <laughs> I'm like the boat's an animal. Animal. Even if there was a boat check, he'd still be fucking proficient in it, and it's still fucking it's the same stat. It. <laughs> uh, can you roll boat? 15, <laughs> 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. Woo! Uh, you know exactly what to do. You start ordering, you know, Zangus and, you know, hewing around as if you're the captain a little bit, you know, pointing, you know, telling which sails to, you know, to, to let go and Teamwork. As you guys start to set sail, as you start to set sail, um, a lot of the guards, um, as you yeah, as you're you like about standing. like 40, 50 feet away, um, you see like a, a more guards start to try and like run towards the docks, but like as they get there, it's too late. Some people try firing crossbows, and like they just kind of like dink dink into the the back end of the ship. But uh, you guys are are in open water. So, I'm gonna wave my fist at them off the back of the ship. <laughs> as a collective. How is we'll Door say, doing on the ship? You guys are right here. Door's fine. 
I, while we are sailing to this spot, can we take a quick break? I need to use the bathroom. Sure, we can take a quick break. Yeah, yeah. Great. Ben, ben right. that should be made, that should be made into a shirt. <laughs> can you roll boat? <laughs> can you roll boat? I want I want a shirt that says "Can you roll boat" on one side, and on the back it says "Can doors fly?" <laughs> oh, we have the fucking quote book. Hello. Oh my Hello. god! Yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to be writing this shit down, please. We literally have a cookbook in the Discord server. Yeah, let's go type these I down. Know. I got some doors fly. <laughs> I will be back now.
Oh, she's doing something right now. Can you just watch for dusk here? No one came. I had no idea what I was doing. No one came. <laughs> nothing. Like, I would just sit there. If someone would have came, I would have been like, well, you can I don't do normally here. here. <laughs> I was sitting there for a good like 10 minutes and then she finally came back and said, Oh, thank you. All right, you can go on to your class now. And I was like, okay. Yo, dead ass. I'm actually hoping that like, instead of like, I hope that the progress of everything keeps going up. That way, once all this blows over and the kids go back to school, we could, I, cause I want to ask if I could just um, be a part of, you know, their, what can you call it? the athletic um area that way i yeah don't lose my job <sighs> my my family had my favorite christmas movie playing what what movie die hard die hard bro okay so Ken, mckenna wants to do this thing where uh each person in the family picks a movie so like going oldest to youngest uh for like five days and so she's like, Logan, what movie are you gonna pick? I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Die Hard. And my mom just starts laughing. I'm like, hey, it's technically a Christmas movie. Sec second favorite, almost a tie for first, but second favorite, Gremlins. There you go. <laughs> and, then, and then both my little sisters are like, let's Die Hard. I'm like, oh Lord. <laughs> Already. I've never seen Die Hard. Never seen Die Hard? Really? Jesse! <laughs> it's like the only, it's like one of the, I wouldn't say the only. It's like Bruce Willis's first big thing. Alrighty, gang. And then everything else just kind of went downhill. Alrighty, gang. All this time she was standing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Jim, you ready to go? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Ben got some food? Yeah. Yummy. Yep. So, sailing across the shoreline of Orton, you're traveling at a solid pace of about 12 miles an hour. A little bit faster than what you were going in the rowboat. It takes okay, you, where? by the time you get to where you want to be, Omar, you being a, a, a map maker, you can follow the map easy peasy, going across the shoreline, you know exactly where you want to be. <laughs> Landing right here, in the, uh, the spot where I, I put you all, that takes about three hours okay. of of sailing time on the ship. So, in that three, actually three to four hours. So in that three to four hours, is there anything that any of you want to do? Short rest. Yeah, short, short rest. rest. Short okay. rest. Short rest, definitely. Uh, like, Let me get them spell slots by you. Yeah. Um, um, actually, since I, didn't, since I didn't expend any spell slots, can I somehow train Dork? I mean, you can talk to him. I'm about to say door, door's in like Animal a pet. Handling or... No, no, no. Nate's He's not a pet. He's like a, its own thing. <laughs> Nate's going to make him a pet. Attempt to make him a pet. He's yeah, more, okay. Damn. Yeah. How much health do I get back for a short rest? So for a short okay. rest, you can expend <clears throat> the amount of hit yeah. die that you have. So Fuck you are level six, six so you have six D12s at your disposal that you can use to roll back uh, any amount of, of damage that you have. And those all come back in a long rest. How do um, slow slots that come seems, back? That's dead. So you I still have got seven so you, got, you have to short rest, health. though. Um, what so I have, seven, I have seven D8 to get my health back. Yeah, because you're level seven. Yes. So I have 68 to get my how do, how do, I was never hit, so it doesn't matter. Correct. Do all spell slots okay. just come back? Um, uh, 
I can't remember how spell slots work. It, it no, depends. spell slots it's come back on a long rest unless you're unless you're something that says otherwise. I believe Warlock actually might be. Where did War, my yeah, pencil go? I think Warlock is is otherwise. But I know wizards there's back. certain there's certain uh, yeah, there's certain right. stuff has. Uh, here I'm reading for you, Jesse. Okay. My my. Yep. Short rest, you get all your spell slots back for Warlock only. For I get okay, so I get those back. Um. The sorcerer's I'm also. Now. I'm also. I haven't admitted this, but I'm also a first level sorcerer. I don't know what happens. To that, that would not. So. Hang on. Like, okay. What? So. You don't know this though. You share spell slots. But like you still get it's weird, um, because warlock yeah. you you only you get like a very few amount, so you would only get your warlock spell slot. So if you were counting which spell slots you were, um, expending, yeah. if you expended any warlock spell slots, you would get those back. Perfect. And then my sorcerer ones would just stay yeah. gone. Until At level rest. five, you should only have like, like maybe two or three. <laughs> two. Yeah. Okay. Thank question. you. El DMO. What was that? DMO. What's up? Um, so I got more than what I needed. Do I put those in the temporary hit points? How do temporary no, no, no. hit points work? Temporary guess, hit though? points, I uh, either give you temporary hit points or things give you temporary hit points. Um, no, you're just oh, back okay. at full health. Bro, oh, okay. You're just back at full health and you just wasted you just wasted all those dice. So we get them back at a long rest, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Um, right. Since I right. just did a short rest, I am changing my proficiency from a perception to an investigation. Illegal. Sounds good. Hey, huh. um, uh, since we're doing a short rest, that's only 30 minutes, right? Or an hour? And it's like three hours? Yeah, the short rest is just you guys resting. So if there's things you want to do during that short rest, Walk about the ship, yes. talk to people, those are I'd allowed. Like, I'd like to talk to Yannis. I want to talk to Dor. The kitchen. I'm going to go with Godiva to talk to Yannis. Okay. I'm going to go Yannis with is no just, to talk Yannis to Yannis is Dor. just sitting there in the kitchen, just sort of, you know, just, just relaxing, staring out the, the one window that's in the kitchen over the sink. Oh, there's a window in the kitchen? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Great, now my whole mental image of the kitchen is all redone. I redraw everything, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I gotta redraw all this shit. Great. What are you doing here, puppy? Bark. A puppy. A pupper. Uh oh. Bark. Bark. Ouch. 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 Where do I get my next thing for Phantom? I swear to God. It's gonna bark. Be two levels away. Bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. Rough, rough, rough. Rough, 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 rough. You guys speak dog? Ah, yes, it's two so, levels away. I do. Yannis, Yannis is just sitting there in the kitchen. Oh, oh, we're doing us first? Okay, cool. Um, I would like to ask Yannis, since he's traveled a lot and stuff, if he knows of any great recipes, because he seems to be very knowledgeable. Uh, great recipes? Um, I, 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 don't, I don't believe I... Oh, on the top of my head. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Mr. Zangus, are you here to take off my shirt again? I can take it off by myself. I assure you. If you need, if you need to study my back area more, I don't know why he's so fascinated with that. Anyways, that's not even that big of a deal. Honestly, it's weird. I don't, I don't know how they got there. It's strange. I, you know what? I was. Wait, in can a, I, wait, wait, wait. Can I roll insight on whether I he knows how it got there or not? In a strange island. It, it was, uh, I DM. About yes, to tell you. yes, you can, you can roll insight. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at my XP. Oh, you got yours at a strange island? I was born oh, with I, mine. That, that might have been, well, I, I received it. I was in... Bless you, Donna. Are you honest? It's a bit Fuck. dusty in here. Um, it's supposed to be really yeah. open for cleaning. I don't clean much in here, no. I just make messes. Yeah, Zangus, you have no idea. Cool. Every college kid ever. There was a strange Having no idea? Island. I would never believe. It was a strange island I was on. It was yeah, both. 
it was in, it was in the shape oh. of a moon. I remember Ooh. I was there on, on one of my travels. I was on holiday with my family, and there was these wonderful, this wonderful writing. jellyfish that, that that ballooned up beneath the surface, and it was it was quite lovely. I I do remember running into a strange strange man there. He seemed to be a dragonborn. And, What's his name? Had, had scales similar to. He was just a local man. That, what? I'm not it's, there. I'm just that's, all, that's all I know. I'm the voice in Zengus's head. I'm, I they apologize. They asked for his name. No, that's still really cool. Where, what were the jellyfish like? Oh, wait, they were they were quite wonderful. They were they were nice and big and they glowed when the sea was like they were stars going deep, deep <clears throat> into the, into the ocean. It was. Do you do you remember the wonderful. the dragonborn's name that you met? It, no, I said I, I did not. I, what what color were the jellyfish? Local man. The, the jellyfish were, 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 they were spectrum of colors. There were some red ones, uh, some blue ones. Uh, did uh, you touch any of them? That. No. No, I... Take, take I've, 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 I've been around friend. the block a, a couple of times as he kind of waves his, his mechanical arms about. I know better than to touch things that I'm not quite aware of. And yet, you work with machinery that you know nothing about. Machinery I know nothing about. That's preposterous. Who made your arm? Who made my arm? Oh, that was... Well, that's actually <laughs> a secret, I'm afraid. What do you mean a secret? It's a secret. What, you I... mean you can't tell me? That's or you don't know? That's exactly what it means. I cannot tell you. Why can't you tell me? <laughs> Get off the ship. <laughs> I, no! I, I can't. I can't tell you. I was. I made a promise to a friend I, that I would. Was it your friend who made the arm? It, yes, it was my friend who made the arm. But I cannot say uh, their name. So it's a he. So I said there. You said there that time, but you said he earlier. Zangus, <laughs> you're being rude. I'm interrogating him. I don't know. Why? Why are you He's weird. Me? I'm How am I weird? Too. You want me to what interrogate you next, Diva? No. But from my point of view, you're quite you strange. You're to... coming in here, you're tearing off my shirt. It's Not like my that, but ship. You're very large for a man <laughs> and wonderful tattoos. Why would someone I'm not a man, the... I'm a Goliath. You're a Goliath? What the? It's a Goliath. Oh! I've never heard Someone of such could knock you out in one punch. Now shut your yap. Why are you being so rude? I'm just, I'm asking simple questions. He is being very rude. I agree. And you're staying on my boat for free. <laughs> How long have you had the mechanical arm? Well, I've I've had him for quite quite some time. How long exactly? <laughs> a few years, but a few hundred years. Down. Longer than than I would have than I would have hoped to have. Did How'd you, you lose your arm? <gasps> it's so rude. No, it's not. Can I walk into the kitchen? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you may. <laughs> Alright, I'm in the kitchen. Hey, old bud. How'd you lose your arms? Raphael, you too! Uh. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> I apologize, Yanis. I don't know what's wrong with them. Everyone just starts walking into the kitchen. Hey, yo, what the hey, yo, fuck dog, happened to those arms, arms dog? <laughs> Damn, dog, your arms fucked. What's wrong? Hey, yo, dog, what happened? What happened to the fucking arm, dog? Who tell me? So is he gonna tell me or what? <laughs> That's the wrong music. I'm fiddling around with music right now. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, but what happened to Giannis's arms? <laughs> I have had um. That's quite a long story. Um. We got time. No. On second thought, no, we don't. Hey, do you know a man yes, named Diz? 
I'm sorry, who? Diz? I'm afraid I, I don't know anybody by that name. Diz nuts! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> I high five Zane. <laughs> Raphael did a layup. I apologize for my. No, no, no. I'm done here. It's quite I apologize for my crewmates. It's quite, it's quite alright. It's quite alright. I, I can, I understand. I'm, I'm a mysterious man, asking for, for sanctuary on, on your ship as I, as I make my way to my next destination. It's completely understandable. Where you want to go? I know a little bit about the place, uh, about the man that's traveling with your ship. I would like to go to a specific island. Um, I don't know the name, but it has the most wonderful. So how do you know you want to go there? I know what it looks like. It has the most wonderful waterfalls and Um. the breeze seemed to feel different. The water was. I'm a. Oh, wait, Venus, was... you walked away, right? Was it? No, no, it was. It was, it was I it was left. Okay, water. phew. It was the place me and my comrades used to gather. I don't know if it exists anymore, but I'd sure love to try and find it. Hmm. Partially why I'm on this journey. So, I think I know where. I'm gonna go over to Godiva and whisper. Okay. I think he's talking about our island. Wait, no, I'm stupid. What am I? What am I supposed to be thinking about? Uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> yes, I think it's our island. <laughs> but Godive is an idiot. <laughs> Try whispering to Zangus. He has a brain. Zangus, Zangus I left. left. Oh, I'll say, too, too bad he was I, I, I heard Raphael and walked out. The big brain. Sorry. Is Raphael? Is Raphael still in the room? Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay. After the layup, Zangus was like, I'm done. <laughs> done. Retired. I'm done. <laughs> His second three-peat. Hey, um, do I know that Raphael doesn't, um, remember his memory, or did he only tell that to Zangus? Raphael? I don't he think I remember his memory. I think I only told Zangus. Only told Zangus? Okay, cool, just checking. High decibel. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would be happy to help you get to that island, though. That sounds like lots of fun, Giannis. <laughs> Wait, is it Yannis or Giannis? It's Yannis. Or Yannis. It's, it's a yes. J A N U S. Yes. I spelled it right, but I can't say it right. So, have uh, we arrived at our location yet? Um, that depends. Is there anything else anybody wants to do on a ship? Any other things you want to talk to Yannis about? Is Raphael gonna stay here the whole time? No, I'm gonna just, start, I'm gonna just relax in the kitchen, look out the window. He's gonna stay in the kitchen. Then, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything else to Yanis. What are you talking about? Godiva's never sus. Oh, actually, oh no, I can't yet. Never mind. Sus. Okay. Godiva's never sus. Oh, oh hey, hey, Yanis, Yanis, have you ever heard of this guy who's called Raj, who's supposed to be the greatest cook ever? Sus. Um. Sus. I know you know a lot of people. Hmm. I, I know what? I have heard of a cook named Raj over in Lexington. He had a wonderful shop for the longest time. I don't know if it's open or not. Last time I was there, it was quite a delicious meal. Cool. Thank you for the hot tip. No problem. I like you, Yanis, despite my weird crew members. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> okay, if Tim stays here, I won't say anything else to Yanis right now. Okay. So I'm staying. Yeah, he's staying. Alright, so after about another 
hour or three of travel. You guys get there. You guys get to your coastal location without any problems. Hey, DM. Yes. I never got my question answered. Can I use animal handling on my dragon? I, what, well, what are you trying to do? Like train him. Train him. I mean, I'm trying to make. You can talk to him. I mean, if he, he's it's a sentient being. Yeah, it's not a pet or an animal. That would be like you trying to train me. He wants to make it. Yeah, a pet I, it'd it. be a lot harder to train the dragon than it would be for, to train you, Godiva. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> could I walk in? Good job. Yay! Wait, so does that, that mean animal Jesse? handling works on Godiva? <laughs> what is the point here? Godiva counts as me. <laughs> you, you just rub her belly. Who's a good Godiva? Who's a good... Who's a good mom? <laughs> so does this mean I could use animal handling on Godiva then? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. We have a little spray bottle. She does something bad. Spritz, spritz. <laughs> it's just filled with lemonade, and she's like, sour stuff, gross, give me sugar. We just threaten her with vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> no, radishes, get it away! Alrighty. So. <laughs> Cabbage. You guys are at the edge of the mountain and forested area. You guys weigh the anchor. Um, it seems to be a, a steep incline and a very sudden incline to these harsh, rocky, like mountain wall that seems to be flat along the uh, the coastline. Um, you guys are in an area where it's 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 flat enough for you guys to dock, um, but even there's there's not a real place to beach. Um, it's just like a smaller cliffside. And then there's just these tall, tall, um, very jungle like trees, very rainforesty area that you're in. Alright, well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, later. Alright, well, bye everybody. Alright, well, Oh, <laughs> All right, so I'd like to ask uh, Dor if he could do a little scout flyby. Okay. While we prepare to dinghy over and take our time, kind of being safe and stuff. Yeah, Dor says, yeah, he's fine with doing that. And, you know, fly up Sorry. and he'll do a little circle of the surrounding area. Um, after about 10 15 minutes, he'll come back. Uh, I'm sorry to inform, but the area seems to be covered in nothing but vegetation. There's not really much I can assess from the sky. Like I said earlier, it's very, very dense vegetation through there. Including the, the fort? Oh, it would take longer for him no. to go to the fort. Yeah, because it's going to take a while for us just to even get up and ready. Yeah, you can fly to the fort. Yeah, so after about 30 minutes, we'll, we'll come back. Yeah, and in that time, we're gonna dingy, dingy back and forth and get everyone to the Wait, island. Wait, how are we gonna find Susan? Isn't she just booking it? Can we have him go look for Susan? That's he, she's in the if she's in the forest, he won't be able to find her. It's too much oh. vegetation. I can I can find Susan with a spell. Yes, please. Yeah, so if he can scout out the the fort and get any information about that while we get dingy over that'd be great sure so he comes back the fort seems to be very well guarded um not a lot of orcs it seems to be more human war forged specifically human oh hmm they seem to be on guard I saw a large I, I I saw a large convoy move deeper into the forest. They seem to be searching for something. Talking about something that escaped, and I can only assume it was that golem, that I think, that 
Uh oh. I came by. I'm actually, first of all, I'm quite surprised I know so much for someone who just became alive. Wow. <laughs> well. My first day has been adventurous. Does it seem like there's a front entrance of sorts? Yes. Out of the four main guard towers, the lowest one that seems to have a route deep into the forest seems to be the one everyone seems to be coming out of. Well... Possibly we could, uh, set up some kind of a diversion of sorts. Possibly get more guards away from the front as we can get in and get our shit. I guess. Did you have anything specific in mind? <laughs> Everyone looks at the dragon. <laughs> Do you want me to dress up as the orc guard and try to walk on through the doors? That's n it's like a divert, like an attack diversion to make the guards go somewhere and like an attack diversion rally would, would be interesting. Uh, again, who did you have in mind? Uh, <laughs> just go look at the dragon. <laughs> Everyone just stare at the door and don't say anything. I'm not doing it. Fuck. <laughs> Can we get a reason? Um, I chucked the sword into the boat. <laughs> Can I persuade him? Damn it. I don't want to die. Especially on my first day being alive. <laughs> We're not a, I'm not exactly asking you to land and fight. More like flybys and get their attention. They do have crossbows and cannons. Do you think they're that good at aiming? I think if one hits me, it'll hurt. <laughs> He's not wrong. What if I do enlarge can I, again? <laughs> can I try and persuade him? Can I roll persuasion how, and just how, be well, like... First off, how are you going to try to persuade him? Is there anything you want? <laughs> can you do us this favor because the man who made you alive all of his stuff is in there. And everyone that he cares about, their stuff is in there. Well, we the person who... Does he really care about us, though? He's friendly to you. Sure. It, does, sure it does say in the book that, that he cares about he cares about the, the party. He, yeah, he's, he's friendly 12. towards you guys. Fuck. Twelve. Twelve. I'm very appreciative of you making me alive, but also, I would rather not die to cannon fire. Sorry. I look, I look at Dora, I go like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, no worries. Yeah, it's okay, Dora, you don't have to die. Well, hmm. thank you, I, I would rather not die. That would, Dragons that would do like painful. valuable objects. But we're gonna give up. Or we could, like, just go with a new plant and, like, someone else can create the distraction. A ragtag group of, like, level sixes that don't have, like, any high level spells. Or level seven. Oh. Yeah, a druid level seven. Okay. All we, all we have to do is we have to dress up in guard armor and tell them that we saw Susan in a certain area and get people to follow them out. They, they already oh, sent convoys out. And she's already obviously injured. Oh, they sent convoys out? Yeah. It's perfect. That means there's less people in the fort. Let's go. Hang on. Still four. <laughs> oh, hang on. Um, I don't... Was the vault in the fort? Because when I came out, it was just like a clearing with trees. And like, then I flew away. It wasn't like we were in a fort. So... It's a bad question vaults in the fort the vault is in the fort and you flew out of the fort and you flew into the like over the forest got it so like i see okay down like this and then back up but i'm letting it dry first pew, pew. Pew. what are you talking about jesse oh um, not D and D topic stuff. Sorry. Are you are you talking to your to your deaf at? Oh no, no I'm talking to Nick. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm working on his very late 
a crisp or birthday gift, which is the ray gun from um, Call of Duty Zombies mode. Yes, correct. Yeah, that's Good what I'm job. like. She's learning. Clothes. She's learning. You know me, I have to craft when I'm stressed, so. So, so you guys are, are dingied in, into the boat. You guys are on the edge of the forest. What if we start a fire in the forest? I mean, we were good at burning down entire islands. We could do that again. Falkor, go for it. Yeah, go touch a go touch a gem. Would, would, the, would these guys care about fire in the forest, though? Listen. Obviously, they're human, so they're not exactly native here. I mean, I could do a lot of things in a forest, all right? Well. Creating a fire just so happens to be one of them. I'm a you human. Know, I can probably honest, just walk in. I think in. you're really overthinking this. I think we should just go walk in. We should. Just, what do they look like they were wearing when you broke out? Uh, what I, I remember not... standard bar gear. What I remember? Um, yeah, you would remember. Uh, most of the guards seem to be wearing this red and black, um, very standard, like, padded leather and, and uniform. Some of them had, had breastplate on. Uh, but all of them seem to have the same, um... Um, symbol and like same thing of all the flags that you saw when you're flying away and it was just this, the, the, the symbol that's on the map it's just this uh crimson uh battle axe, battle axe. Cool. do they seem like military-esque or do they seem more like they seem very mil they seem very military-esque well let's just send um Sir Raphael in to just go steal us some extra armor they're, they're gonna be arming a bunch of people well, and then we just walk in and out. It's probably gonna be harder to get through big ass. I'm assuming this forest is just a big ass door, and that's the entrance. How big are these walls on the fortress? Um. Door would told you probably around sixty feet tall. Fuck. Yeah, it's gonna be a big ass door. I bet there's a back entrance. Coley, we can have a starship trooper situation. I can summon a giant insect. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, should we start walking our way there? You want? <laughs> It's getting late too. It should be like 8 p.m. or something now. Mm -hmm. If it took I us know. three hours to get here, it's gonna be dark. It'll be easy to it sneak in. No, it took us like five, because it was like three hours before we got to like the middle, right? Well, and it was six o'clock, so it, it took us like three, four hours. It's it's nine. We conversed, now, so it's it's around nine, ten o'clock right now. And okay. well, I actually, my 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 guy is like built for dark, uh, like nighttime stuff. Like so, I have with my with my armor, artificer armor. I have advantage on stealth checks, and then You'll if it's dark out, armor. yeah, that has just like literally is meant for it being dark out. So dim light or darkness, you have resi uh, no this is resistance proficiency and expertise in this in stealth, and in uh, dim light or darkness, I can hide as a bonus action. So. We, I could, I could definitely be sneaky boy with Raphael. Yeah, let's 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 start mm -hmm. making our way through the forest. We can just try to sneak on in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got makeup. I can right. cover folklore. Zangus will just have to hunch down. <laughs> you, you can color the blue man black. No, I, w I have I have Godiva colored makeup. You silly silly. You're going to be Godiva oh, so colored. Pink? Pretty oh, much. Lord. So bright pink? Pretty much. Exactly. Puppies on bright pink. The puppies God, on stream. Puppy! We can barely see the pupper. Puppy. Yeah, change your skin to a pup. Puppy. Damn. God, it's, it's like your puppy. midnight black. <gasps> puppy! Puppy, puppy, puppy. 
guess there's nothing on my desk. You don't have snacks? Oh, puppy, there's nothing up here. <laughs> puppy needs his own headset. Oh, well. Hi, Ram. Hi, Ram. He can't hear me. I know he can't. How do you know he can't hear me? He's a dog. He can probably hear me. Yeah, you gotta go down. Ram, come here. Boom. Alright. Alright, so, yeah, so I guess we're gonna covert out this and try and sneak our way in. Okay. Or we could starship troopers it. I can summon ten centipedes. But we're um, not close to them yet. Giant centipedes. Door really? is going... Do, uh, first off, Yannis is gonna stand the ship. Yeah, of course he is. He's not gonna come high five him. High five him. Can I secretly? Hey, Yannis, we're giving you we're giving you free stay in our ship. You should come help us. No. Can I secretly like set a trap on the ship? You mooch. I will. What what kind of trap would you be wanting to make? Um, something that just enables the helm of the ship so that he can't. How are you going to? How are you going to do that? I'll save my guy. Just take um, the wheel with us. Just <laughs> take the fucking wheel. Wings. Also, just Door, Door is going to ask to stay uh, by the ship as well. Come on. Or how can we get a freaking it? dragon to our disposal? It's like, nah, most pacifist yeah, dragon no. in D and D. That's perfect. That way we don't meta game or cheat or whatever. He's not our dragon. He's like a sentient being called. Oh, so like, fuck up. He is our dragon. And he's my dragon. Our dragon. I'm sorry. I didn't see Excuse you. Do true we are not in America, so this is our dragon. Our dragon. <laughs> so is there a way I can do this though? Like communist bug. <laughs> bug. I was thinking I could do Someone... arcane lock, but that's only for like doorways or chests, so can't do that. Technically, he is. Or, or we could just like. Not well, I was gonna arcane lock the anchor, make... but never mind. Oh. Uh, what do I have? I say we just we just I let him just be. If him. something happens, then fine. we can't. We could have done anything about it. He's a good guy. It's yeah, fine. We didn't go that far, but <laughs> can we, we can just take the steering wheel with us? <laughs> it, 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 if he on the anchor, if he raises the anchor, it's just gonna drift. Exactly. Meaning we can still find him, bro. He can't get that far. We don't know how long we're gonna be in here. <laughs> Alright, let's just say fuck and go. Alright. Now, I do like uh, Nate's idea of spawning giant centipedes and having them, like, go up the walls on other entrances like the back and back area the side area so the guards maybe go there because you like 10 giant centipedes are crazy and then we can just kind of waltz right in or at least attempt to yeah i guess so but are they gonna like, be on high alert though if there's things attacking i think we could just walk in if they're mostly humans yeah but once again i don't want to fight like are they freaking... mostly? Wait, do we know they're have... mostly humans? Yeah. You know that. that what you saw. the dragon said. I don't. Want, I want to have twenty dudes yeah. with crossbows aiming at me. Why would they so... aim at us if we're just normal people walking on and that look like that? Because it, it's a it's a fort that you, we can't get in if yeah, it's a military it's, uh... base. We can't just walk in. Oh, we can't oh, no, steal. Right. So any type of distraction would just help. I'm not okay. saying it's going to be like a game changer, but. So okay. I can do with this spell if we want to do it that way. Well, let's get close first. Yeah. Let's yeah. let's Anything let's. Like we want a sneaky walk through the forest. We will take we will take longer to walk slower and carefuler and look for traps and people. Only level four spell, but I can summon ten centipedes, three spiders, five wasps. Or one. Are these giant ones or are these just tiny ones? Tree. Giant, giant. Okay. All right. So you guys are walking through the forest um, carefully. Kewen, uh you you notice Hewen's armor as the night uh, becomes dark. The only his armor seems to like 
start to almost like emit this kind of like shadowy aura that starts to like slowly mist off it almost like his armor is steaming with something but it's just this black shadow and the only piece of light that seems to be left on him is is just the, the faint glowing of, of the robotic chest piece that is in the center of his um, that's in the center of his armor um, I'm assuming Omar you're you're casting Path Without a Trace uh yeah sure I mean I only work how, how within 20 feet of where he cast it yeah. right how close are we to the wall um well right now you guys are beginning to walk into the forest and it's going to take you about I, I'd say 30 to 45 minutes of just walking through this dense jungle if you're going in the right direction to reach Fort Bay. Yeah, but what's the point of doing it if Path Without Trace... Not close enough. Right. So, no, I would not be... Not yet, at least. Alright. No, not yet. Alright, can everyone roll me a self-check? Oh... Joy. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 that's only... Wait, this is 30 feet all the way out here. Yeah, 30 feet all the way out there. Yeah, that, that's definitely 30 feet. I have a vanish. Forgot. Good rolls, guys. Ah. Ah. I got uh, a 20 unnatural. 10. 20. Unnatural 20. 14. 10. 10. Okay. 9. So you guys aren't being the sneakiest um, <laughs> going through. As you guys are going through, you're stepping on branches. It's kind of hard to see. It's fine. Um, you don't seem to catch the attention of anything as you're walking through. Um, Zengus. As you're walking, you start to feel a slight little twitch. Um, you don't know what it's for. Actually, you would know what it's for. Um, it appears that someone is trying to, at this moment, as you're walking through the forest, as you just get out of the trees, uh, someone is trying to attune to your, your sword. Big angry! Oh no, your luck sword. I would that, know this. Either. Okay, real quick, that's that's not good. <laughs> that's you said that's really bad. Not, I know not, exactly what it is, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. And Somebody's Zangus, and messing Zangus, with our stuff. And Zangus is the only one that knows the full capabilities of the sword. In here all. Yes. yes. But out of game, He's, I'm like, uh-oh. Out of game, um, but in game, Raphael, Zangus is... Raphael knows what I can do with the sword. Have you told Raphael? I told Raphael. Okay. So Raphael and Zangus are the only ones that know about the Luck Blade's true power. Godiva has no idea. No. Alright. Anything you do with that information, Zangus? Um, I said uh, somebody's mess messing with our. With our stuff. Uh, No, I'll be just fuck with her. Okay. Good dad was like, why are you yelling at me? Oh, reasons. God, everything cut out and then everything and like... sped up really fast. To, like, try and catch up with everything. So can you repeat everything that just was said for me, please? Basically, we're saying we got to hurry the fuck up. Thank you. will still be kind of stealthy. Alrighty. So, you guys clear through the trees, and there you can see Fort Bain in all of its glory. And it is massive. Uh, the dark black obsidian walls seem to almost vanish in the dark of the night. Um, only being, you know, only really being able to tell that they're there from the amount of uh, torches and, you know, lights that seem to be all around the fortress. The walls are huge. They are 60 feet tall, just as Dor said, but in length, they are hundreds and hundreds of feet long. Probably 
each side is at least 200 feet long. It's six feet, dog. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and they're, and they're, they're only a foot tall. Easy. <laughs> Just step on right on in. <clears throat> These towers are only like five feet tall. <laughs> No. And just as um, just as Dor also said, you can see another uh, convoy come out, and about thirty guards walk out. Some of them in carriages, some of them marching along. Some of them, you know, in the front they're carrying a banner, and then you know, horses and carriages are coming with supplies as um, they're marching yeah. out into into the woods. What you, are you doing down here? You can overhear them t say. All right, men. Sorry. Search out and find that stoned beast, along with the two escapees that, ha that escaped earlier today. Wait, they're spreading out? I'll be right back. Um, my neighbor's dog just came into my basement. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, What's up? So, so wait, they're so going wait, into the woods, so I think we're okay. Well, we're talking about but, puppers, huh? But, but they're spreading out. We could grab their armor. Once again, I don't think it's gonna be that easy. I just like disguising myself. That's just what Godiva Jesus. likes to do. She likes to dress up as other people, man. <laughs> oh, I grew big. Oh, there we go. Grazie. Go upstairs, bud. It's where, like, where, right here? Go upstairs. Um. The door's open. So they haven't found Susan yet, which is good. Yeah, so Nate, I would suggest popping, uh, Fast Without Trace. About are the doors, are the doors still open? Cause the they're leaving? The doors are open. They are giant, they are giant 20 foot tall, just these gates. We would like to pass without a trace and dart through before they close. Alright, I'm going to everyone to roll me a straight how, check. How far right. are the gates? The gates are about 50 feet away. You're okay. just, you're well, just on the edge of the tree line. Does, does anyone have really bad, uh, dexterity? No. Godiva. I have, uh, 13. I have 13 as well. Uh, what does, uh, I can, Zingas have? Wait, I, I just have a plus one. It's not awful. Um... Alright, I, I, I won't do anything. I mean, if we pass without trace, we should be yeah. fine. Yeah, well, I, like, just, I, I can do enhanced things. ability, which would give someone advantage on any dex, dexterity do, checks. Yeah. I can also do guidance, which would, you roll a d4 and you can add that number of rolls, or you can add that number to any ability check. I, I think we're okay for right now with pass without trace. Yeah, do you mind popping that, Omar? Sure, Omar the bitch. The, all they do is pass without trace, but yeah. Hey, we well, welcome to being a druid. It's basically <laughs> an HM slave at this point. <laughs> you're a, you're a beedoof at this point. Let's be honest. You are the okay. god himself. All right, what are we rolling? Stealth check plus, plus ten plus to your 10. roll. Is it plus ten plus what we normally get? So like yeah. plus eleven for. Yeah. Just don't roll a natural one, anybody. I got 36. You got it. Nat one coming up. Okay. I Jesse. got a 36. Jesse. Jesse. Hey, Jesse. I what? got a 27. Oh, no. No. Jesse. Did, no. Jesse. No. Jesse. No. Oh, Why did you have to say It doesn't matter. It's a nat one. Stuff. Hold on, guys. Hold on. So. <laughs> delete from chat. Delete from chat. <laughs> Everyone makes it through the door just fine, except for full court. Everyone, everyone's quickly running through. And as you all run through the gate into uh, the larger fort area uh, inside the walls, uh, full court, you trip. And your skull is caved in. <laughs> you trip and, and fall. And as you trip and fall, you fall out of the area that's the pass without a trace. And you miss your opportunity to come in 
before the door, before the gate shut. The gate's shut. Mm. And as the gate's shut, um, you see one guard kind of look over and they go, Fuck. Hey, who's that over there? Okay, Fukui, you're the distraction. Good luck. <laughs> hey. Bye, guys. I, you, I'll, I'll right there. Start running. Hold it right there. Hey, hey you stop. I start running back into the forest. Just... Right, you're, booking it. It. you're booking it back into the forest as about five guards start running. Two initially start running, and then like they're like this way, and they they start looking after you. Okay. Um. Can't. I guess I'll go deep enough into the forest to where they will be surrounded by the trees, and. I guess just let me know when that happens. Because okay. I, I, I have a plan. The, the trees Is it to burn down the island? Jesus. The trees. No, but yes. Why are the trees <laughs> talking? Fireball. It's only five. You got this. I don't have fireball. I believe in you, boo. You have third level spells. What do you mean you don't have fireball? You need bat poop, remember? I have two third level spells. You didn't I take fucking light- fireball? He, he took I lightning light- bolt. He took lightning bolt and counter. The, 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 the reason was because we were going up against so many warforged who were just innately resistant exactly. to fire. I figured, I'm like, what's the point of me using fireball if it's just going to get halved? I might as well just use lightning bolt. It was a smart move. That's smart. Right. Well, you're really dumb. So as you were getting chased into the trees, we're going to cut over to the main group. All right, the gate's shut. The inside of the fort is a mishmash of different buildings that all seem to be erected um, fairly quickly and then sort of added on to over time. There seem to be three main buildings that are all connected to each other. Uh, two on each side seem to be twin buildings. Um, it, it's hard to really tell what's inside. While the bigger building at large, Omar, you know that is the building that you escaped out of, specifically the center of it. In the center of it is this mm. giant tower that seems to spiral up, and there is a um, sort of just walled off top as it sort of comes up and it sort of does like this, and up at the top, that is where uh, your stuff is. And you haven't warned us that the crater or the first could be here, right? Omar, or did you tell us that? I told you guys everything I knew, essentially. Okay, okay, so we know that the first could be here right now. Correct. And Zangus, you know, um, the longer you wait, the the, the, the further that, that tingly feeling seems to, to get in the back of your mind, and the further you can feel your attunement to um, your luck blade cease. I say you have about 45 minutes before you're just not attuned to it any longer. Got it. Does Let's get to it. Along this information. Um, I mean, I said we have to hurry, and so are we heading into the to the 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 mid spirally dinghy. I would assume so, that's where Omar. To the center, is. Omar. That's where everything is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I was reading Alimar. Sorry. I right, let's yeah, yeah. move on. Let's get in there. Let's go. Yeah. I just point out stealthily. To, uh, run toward it. Yeah, stealthily. And I am going to um cast enhance ability just because I don't want any mistakes on uh Jesse after what happened with Logan, just in case. <laughs> just in I case. Am, I am the uh, wise Cat's grace, so you're going to have advantage on on any dexter- dexterity checks. Also, you won't take falling damage from 20 feet or less. Cool. Thank you. Unless you're incapacitated. In All right. Thank you. Yep. So we, we, we go into the big building. Stealthily. Yes, the item building. Mm-hmm. And I have my keys. Ooh, 
Do you remember where we parked? All right, I'm assuming we walk in just fine because Mr. DM hasn't right said there. anything. So he's pulling up a beautiful the... map, I bet. Probably. I bet it's going to be gorgeous. All right, so you guys see 30 Warforged, 20 Orcs. The Demogorgon himself. Yep. <laughs> Eight ships. Captain has come back and he's prepared to stab us. Victoria's you see there. a different Goliath that challenges everyone to a fight. Folklore, you've changed a... just a foot. Is this your OnlyFans? There is a shadow version <laughs> of the party that is waiting for you. How did you know? <laughs> we gotta get you one of those rings that has the little googly eyes, that has a little space so you just put it on and it looks like two little eyes. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get DM. moving. I'm bringing DM, you that question. eventually when we finally play D and D in person. I'm bringing you one of those rings. Ooh. That. What's your What's your question? What'd you What did I get from um, the Sun Tarot card? I got a necklace. Literally the opposite of what. All right, you have the necklace of ultimate good. All right, that's all I needed. It's the good boy necklace. You good boy. Me. Alrighty. So, going into the building itself, it seems to be calm at first. Um, there don't really seem to be too many guards on patrol walking around until you get near the center of the building. In which case, there seems to be a guard around every single turn. Can I have each of you roll a stealth check for me again? To try and sneak past these guards. Uh, 12. A 12? Okay. A 16, 26. 26. A 26. 21, okay. A 28. Okay. Thank God you gave me that thing. I know. Yeah, 31. A 13. Do, 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 do. All right, is that everyone's rolls? How do you have a plus 11 dexterity? Are we still in Pass Without a Trace? We're Pass Without a Trace. You get a plus. Oh, we still are? Oh, oh we're Pass Without a Trace. Pass. Yeah, I have a, uh, yeah, I have a 36. <laughs> yeah, if, if I have a Pass Without a Trace, I am t 22. <laughs> what you mean? How you got 11, dog? I got a one, bud. <laughs> yeah, I have a plus one normally as well. It would have been a three without pass without a trace. That's yeah, what I, I just would call. With a thirty-six, I just phase right. out of existence. Then I'm at twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to another dimension. For a minute, you <laughs> like. <laughs> okay, so for, a... for a minute, you fade so hard that you can see like the two by four grid around you and us watching. Exactly. Break the plan. So you all miss, sneak by, most of the guards just fine. As you start heading up the tower, or the main tower area, it, it's, it seems to... things start to get weird. So, the guards suddenly shift to the Warforged guards that you guys were fighting before. Perfect. As there is a dense urgency uh, to to get this, but then also mixed in with the normal guards as you're like going through the hallways and you're just like, you know, you're wait y'all you are waiting behind the corner and you're looking over and you're waiting for the guards to pass by the perfect time and you're all running. Um there's also pirates there. Pirates that are very oh, similar man. to the pirates that you fought on the Living Whale all the way back. Oh. Mm. I will be right back. I have to move setups, so.
Damn. It's in the secret fortress, and now you gotta leave. He's not in the secret fortress. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh, sorry. He doesn't get <laughs> inside the secret fortress, and now he has to leave. Yeah, what a baby. So... Is that it? We just see Pirates of Warforge? And he orcs. This is interesting. This is, this is interesting. Any, any orcs? Um, the occasional orc. But... Do they, do the humans look like they're dressed in navy garb, or are they just all wearing these uniforms from the fortress? We're all wearing the uniforms from the fortress. Would okay. I recognize the pirate uniforms? Roll me a history check. Like, to be a certain, like, pirate gang or whatever? Roll me a history check. Here, are these the phoenixes? The ones opposed to the pegasus? Let's get this drama. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, what did I get? A five. Hang on. History, six. Ooh, Eleven. I got a six. You got a six. So. Yep. I was thinking like those pirates from that secret underground city. They they look very familiar, but in a, like in the huge emotion of things, it's it's very difficult to see what exactly they are how they are branded as. Um, as mm. pirates don't usually wear their moniker on their uniform. It's really it's it's really hard. But some of these guys, just like I swear, these guys are familiar. Okay. Alright, so, just keep going. Get to where we need to be. Yeah, we'll just keep sneaky snooking up the stairs. Alrighty, I'm just pulling up stuff. Sorry. Hey, I'm still wearing what's-his-name's coat, right? You are. Can I check his pockets and see if he has anything cool? Probably sure. not the best time. <laughs> it's a great time. What are you talking about? <laughs> As we're you, said, you, you, you want us to roll in our stealth check? Um, he so oh, in I his pockets. In his pockets, doesn't he doesn't really seem to have much. He has a um. He has a. I don't know a. A pocket watch. That's about it. Oh, cool. Wait. Stealth check? Is what I heard? Yep, give me another stealth check. Everyone? That would be Everyone. a 26. What did I just roll? My laggy computer. 23. Wait, are we still in pass without a trace? Mm-hmm. Twenty four. Those are some um, good rules, everybody. Nice job. Thank you, Ewan. Yep. Good rolls. Apparently I rolled a negative one. Rolling DF. I can't fucking compete. <laughs> Just negative one. Yeah. It's okay. uh, another thing. I'm sorry. This thing is being an ass right now. I had it all prepared Thank earlier, you. and now it's. Do you want a pee break while we while you do that? Fuck it up. Yeah, we can... is really asking just because she has to take a pee. Well, I did pretty do it earlier. Of you, Jesse. Yeah, pretty uh, selfish, Jesse. God. Well, look, I'm the only girl here. I have a different routine than you all, so Delaney can vouch for me if she's still there. Not she's. Ah, oh, well, then you'll just have to take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! What a shame. <laughs> Logan, we gotta get that Vermintide on. 
Let's yeah, oh, let's let's take a let's take a quick key break, even though we just took one earlier. And we'll I'll I'll fix everything. <laughs> right, let's call Cole, I'd say we do it tonight, but as so you we'll can be see, right back. Can... Yeah, I, I wasn't. I was thinking tomorrow because I'm probably at tonight after the game, and then oh, tomorrow oh. we can play because I, I got all my math shit done. All right, yeah, uh, I'll play as soon as I. Uh, if yeah. Fabian wants to freaking download it. Yeah, nice. I, I mean, he should have it since I just downloaded it. But uh, do we have to hear? I, I put in like wait what? Download what? Vermin uh, Verminate Tide 2, it's a Warhammer game. It's like really good, but... <clears throat> you can't not play it a gay station. <laughs> I'm getting a PC. So am I. You can play it then. You, My, it's actually it's actually way better on PC, just because they have... They cater to PC. I, I just how Warhammer works. Nate, I just got an email saying that my PC is uh, going to be in, on its way soon. So you you bought you bought you bought a PC and a fucking Xbox One X? Sorry, uh, Xbox no. ser Series. I bought the Series X. Daddy bought me the PC. So fucking spoiled. And Daddy <laughs> also bought the PS5. No, he didn't. He probably will soon. He will. <laughs> no, he has no point. What point does he have? I'm getting kicked out of the basement. Period. So Why are you getting kicked out. Cole, Why? No, I'm not getting kicked out of my house. Thank God. But I'm getting Why kicked out of the I'm getting kicked out of the basement because they want to completely redo it uh, to where it's basically going to be like a theater slash bar. Um, so like they, how it already is. <laughs> no, no, it's not. So, because you, we just have the bar area, right? Every year they want to change shit. Last year he was redoing the wall, and the year before that he was yeah. like adding so, stuff. Cole. Else. He, He's like, oh, that that only took me like uh, about two months. I'm like, no, no, that took you five months. And it it could it could have t taken him a week if he would have no. just done it. And so he's like, no, it didn't. I'm like, yes, it did. You know how I know? He's like, how? I'm like, it lasted the entirety of mine and Sarah's relationship. And he's like, <laughs> oh, I'm like, that's how I know. Because <laughs> it was so Logan, that would piss me here. off, and why I didn't like her. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what I'm hearing is Logan's on his way out of his house. Dude, that's why I, I was trying to jump on that rent, uh, jump on that house with you and Al. Jump, jump on that Florida train. If you got room yeah. for me, bud. Cole, if you got room for me too, I'll fucking come down. Nah. I'll come down can... for a week. A week. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going down there permanently. Yeah. Are we ready to go, or do I have a second still? You have a second still. Okay. I'll just that. Yeah, I'm gonna run and take a piss as well. I'll be right back. Okay, have fun. Don't talk to strangers. <laughs> I'll try not to. I'm back. Let me guess how to get a Coke. Nope, should I take a wee wee wee? Already got your Coke. I don't drink Coke anymore. Well, you don't? Good for you. Only when oh, I go yeah. out to like restaurants. I forgot you fucking gave me this this morning, dude. I'm so tired this morning. I just saved it after I looked at it. The crunchy roll. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's uh, it's Sh it's Sean's cousins Wyatt's friends. I was signed into it for the longest. Yeah. I was signed into. Yeah, you, can, you can sign in that and watch it. They they watch a lot of weird shit, so you'll see a lot of like the most recent watched are all like romance harem. 
That's just how. That's just how white is. <sighs> it's just like. I don't really watch bridge. Crunchyroll too much anymore. I want to watch it just for one reason. What? Uh, Hulu's going to get taken down soon. Why is Hulu getting taken down? Because Hulu and Disney are going into one, and Disney Plus is taking on Hulu and Merging. Oh, awesome. And... Yeah, like, it's awesome, but, like... I have, I have fucking Disney Plus and the lowest subscription of Hulu, so that's that's good for me. Right, but, like... So that's how I was thinking, but then on the other hand, it's also just like, but what are what are they gonna not incorporate because it's Disney Plus? I mean, Disney Plus does have like, they censored a lot of stuff, but that does have like Simpsons and like some other more edgy, edgyish stuff. So, but like Hulu has maybe like, not example, some like, like the hard. Titan on it. Yeah, like, they, they you know, might not take on, like, the animes, but they'll take on... Son of Anarchy. <laughs> like, I don't see him taking on everything. The, the only thing I watch on Hulu is, like, the Goldbergs. So... I watch, like... That. There's, like, a handful of decent animes on Hulu. What are you, fucking 40? That's where I watched Overlord for the first time. Oh, Bo Fury is on there. Bo Fury's hilarious. Uh, freaking Netflix started adding some more shit. They're they're building up their their anime. Yeah, but it's really like their own stuff. It's not like well, they they took on a lot of the, some of the older animes. Like they added a, like a Kami Got Kill, which used to be on there, but they took yeah. it away. They have they have a new I don't know if it's new but I know it's like this year they it's called the new legends of monkey it's basically about uh, the monkey king I used to be a big buff on Chinese uh... I've been wanting to get into it more yeah I, if you want to get into it read these books they're kind of like mm -hmm. a Lord of the Rings but more of like in Chinese Very sense far. it's called journey to the east and there should be three books. They're super good. Um, it's about like a monk and he befriends a bunch of like people and monsters. And it's Holy. like, what? That's Journey to the West, bud. Journey to the West, sorry. I, I know about it. Basically, yeah. really, I think it's like only the first book that has like the like main idea of it. And then the other one, the other two books essentially talk about um like vices that hu us humans have and that's why there's like every single like chapter or story that's in there it's involves the mountain involves it's human, it's, it's kind of raunchy yeah uh but there is a actually movie on it but it's in chinese yo it's on youtube and it's free i've been watching it it's kind of cool it, it's way different from how yeah. from journey of the west but it's pretty interesting. It, it's like a joke on it, kind of. Well, and so you you know God of High School, right? Yeah. That's essentially Journey to the West. But I just with, like how the bald dude looks. <laughs> with a much more modern spin on it, because the main character uh, Jin Mori, uh, later way later on, you find out that he is. Um, it's the name that they use for him is the very long name for him, but it, he's Sun Wukong, essentially. <laughs> but it's a very, uh, God of High School, like the uh, web novel is very, very good. <laughs> I'm sorry, the webtoon. But you'll be you'll be happy. I I have five hours into Assassin's Creed Valhalla against what I wanted to do put into it. Five hours. I really, I didn't even want to put in one honestly. Like I appreciate its graphics. They're good, but there's just so much they're like. Well, you're stupid. Being, stupid. You're being, you're being like really nitpicky on like the weapons and stuff, and I I understand that because I I also agree that it's dumb that you can't use a uh, short sword. Okay, that just a long sword. Period. Like, 
the great great swords weren't even fucking invented and I all know. vikings really used are I axes know. and and normal swords um what was it invented? What are we talking about? I just can't remember. The, the, the great sword wasn't even invented until like the 13th, 14th century. No, the great sword wasn't invented until 14th uh, BC, the or AD, sorry. Uh, and the claymore wasn't invented until 13th. And that was in like fucking Scotland. Yeah, and uh, in and Assassin's Creed takes place in the 9th century. Yeah. So like, that's... No. To find that Every so, fucking NPC uses a normal sword, except for you. I didn't get that from a YouTube source. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Trust me, Vikings d used shields and swords and axes. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, you nope, can't you, you can't use sword. And then there's only like two weapons, two or three, four weapons per category. It's like, why the fuck yeah. is the flail even in the game? It sucks. It's right. so pointless. All right. You know you can get Mjolnir? It's time yes. to get back into the game. It's a pain in the ass, though. Also, thank Sorry. you Splash Lab for following. Ooh. Hey. All right, is everyone here? Yeah. Also, I just want to say bye. In the 11th century, great swords were in the 14th. Just throwing that out there. Go ahead. Alrighty. I will have to back. We just got done do it, getting all above 20 stealth checks, like a bunch of G's. Okay. <laughs> and then you have me. Yep, we'll get to you in a second. You're a wonderful distraction. Hey, real quick, can we talk? Um, I know you were talking about changing the way we get experience did you ever figure something out for that or no um i was just thinking later on uh depending on how long it takes in between sessions to get our level up because this is all an experimental homebrew system i'm using for experience um so we'll see how it goes i but, like it i stole it I and know. then we never use it but we have not that used it once no all right i'm an idiot so, I just know that was a thing. you guys are climbing up higher and higher and higher <laughs> up the tower, and you guys have finally reached the main room. Um, the main the main room before the vault room. Nathan, Omar, you know that this is... You recognize this area, uh, mostly because you're, like, right at the top, and then if you were to head out backwards, it would just be nothing but the wall that was around you that... Uh, Dor originally used his first acid breath on and flew out. And that shenanigans happened. Is that happened. still there? DM, is there a door on the vault? There is no door on the vault currently. <laughs> so, looking over, this is what you guys see. Okay. That looks dark. Ah, scroll down. Blackness. We see the fog of war. Scroll down. You see the uh, fog right. of war. Or forged. Oh. I'm zoomed in. Ah, big mechanical thingies. Yeah, we'll fuck them. Wait, we don't have gear. We won't fuck them. <laughs> Are those I'll monks? Wait, what the this isn't the vault, these guys? We're very sneaky. Oh, we can sneak really This out. is Palestine. Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. How we get up here? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> ha, got him. This is the room before. Anyway. This is the, the vault room. What are you talking about? <laughs> the vault room or the room before the vault room? The room before the vault. Wait a minute. Is that Diz? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's actually so, Diz. Someone give me perception check. Oh, it is Diz. It is Diz. Someone oh, give me perception God. check. It's nuts. <laughs> got him. <laughs> We turn around, walk away. I make that joke every time. <laughs> Someone make me a perception check because these Somebody three are talking. Wisdom. Okay. Um. An eleven. <laughs> someone yeah. is, is someone else proficient in perception. Uh, I am. I am, but I'm not. I'm doing it. Definitely. Ah. 
Fuck man, yeah, let's go! <laughs> I got a 22! So you guys are being sneaky, and Zangus is being right. the, uh, the first one who's kind of like on top of the tower of you guys peeking Somebody over the Somebody use enlarge on my eardrum. So, first of all, you, all of you see this menagerie. You see the two clockwork abominations that are standing perfectly still, and you see what seems to be these very, like, th these four pirates that seem to have their uh, swords out. One of them has a, has a long rifle, and the other one, it's just a fucking a beast of what seems to be this this hulking behemoth. It's it's like this weird creature. Those from the Phalanx know that this guy's a fucking bugbear. Ew. And so he's just... And the he's, pirates? He's just standing there, and he's just, you know, he doesn't seem to have a weapon on him, but he's he's there, and he seems to be dressed the nicest Whoa. out of all of them. Up at the top of, of here seem to be um, the Warforged soldiers that you were fighting before, but they're bigger, they're beefier, and they have two swords on for for hands on each side. Mm. How will they eat ice cream cones? And then up at the top, it's all Very it's all carefully. It's all quiet, and Zangus, you can you can hear out this conversation take place. Um, So, the old man up in the front, who seems to be wearing some kind of white mask, um, and yes, in the, in the white porcelain mask, there is a detailed mustache that seems to go out to here, and a long uh, porcelain beard. I must thank you again, Mr. Yanis, for contacting us about this here very special weapon. It was no problem at all. Not Yanis. Yeah, you said Yanis. You said Yanis, by the way. I did. He said that on purpose. Yeah. How did you know such a cornucopia of equipment would be here? Hi there. I'd like to know as well. Well, when you travel with the right folks, you know to spot out a good deal. Now, I've finally been able to hold up my side of the bargain. Um, I wanna, I wanna... Can you hold up yours? No, shut up. No, this isn't, this is important. I'm getting visibly angry. <laughs> my character is visibly angry. I wanna calm him down. <laughs> Nate trying to be the... Please continue. Of course, of course, darling. Here. And you see the lady, who's also just in pirate gear, uh, reach into her side pocket and pull out two rolled up pieces of parchment. And he hands them over to Diz, and Diz pockets them. Alrighty then. Do with this what you wish. I will be leaving now. Righto, righto. And Diz uh, walks over, and he opens up. He he opens up his pack. Actually, actually, he doesn't even open up his pack. So I know his inventory. He's just gonna continue walking on down. And he's walking towards you are? guys. Yeah. What do you okay. guys do? This thing is gonna smash him. I'm gonna wait. I'm character's not super super upset yet. Because there's an opportunity here where we can isolate Diz. I calmed him down. Yes, Omar did a good job of calming me down. <laughs> um, go I did soothing pets and he calmed down. <laughs> but you can only reach like- Which now means animal handling works on <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to, the, to our group. I'm gonna put my hands out to try and say, wait, wait for the right moment kind of thing but just like wait okay. i'm gonna wait and for wait can for i Diz see where this vault is the yes the vault is right behind and so it's, and it has no door it has no door and you see just all the stuff behind you um my sword in there can you can you no, ping it the man that is holding your sword oh, okay. is 
is the porcelain dude. Let's find out. Can you ping where the vault is? Is it here? Yeah. Nice, that's a three. Yep, it is the old man who's holding the sword. Okay, cool. While you see the woman dressed in a pirate gear kind of look on angrily as she kind of goes, Fine, a deal's a deal then. And she kind of, You boys stay here. I'm going to get that map. She go in the vault then? Yes, yeah, she went. She goes into the vault. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're gonna wait for Diz to come. Are we in a separate room and looking through a doorway? Um, you guys, yeah, you're looking through a doorway in on all of this. Um, there don't seem to be any guards in your immediate vicinity, but okay. Good. I'm gonna wait for Diz to come out of that room. Okay. You all are waiting. And Diz walks into the room, walks right out of the room. Okay, I'm going to draw my sword. I'm going to come up behind him and hold it to his neck. Great. Quietly? Uh, yeah, I'm not doing it like... All right, roll me a stall wow. check to do this. Ah, we still have Pass Without a Trace. Stonks. Stonks. 11. Mm. Mm, 28! Mm. <laughs> okay. Big sneaky. So we'll, I'll actually pull him like from coming through the doorway. I'll pull him to the side and put my sword to his neck. He's got uh, a lot of is. Why? This doesn't seem like the appropriate time to use such a brute tech, now does it? I haven't slit your throat yet, have I? Now why don't we calm down? All will be explained. I'm a motion at at uh, Zangus to like. I'll drop my sword to my side, but keep it drawn. Godiva will be so shocked and disappointed at this. If you want your stuff back, I'd say do your best to hide. Once she takes that map, they're gonna head out of here. Diz, why would you do that? Not now. I had a feeling you all would try to follow me. And you heard him, guys. Managed, and I see you've managed to appropriate some new gear. And some seems to have less gear than others. Hmm. I'm not completely naked. You're still wrapped in a bedsheet. <laughs> yeah, but I have a coat now. Wow. We've had our fair shares of experiences. Where, where can we find you after this? No, he's staying. He stays with us until they walk through that door. That'd be a little suspicious. He's now within Pass Without a Trace. He's now yeah, within the 30 feet radius. The imposter. Still one more person that has to make a stealth check. Ooh. What's the ally card from Diz give us again? Is Diz an ally? Is Diz an ally? We have an ally card for him. Metagaming would be, can I use Diz's ally card? <laughs> uh, metagaming would say no. Uh, <laughs> first shot. And this is ally card only gave you uh it's only good for spellcasters. So Yeah. Well hey. Diz, where could we find you after this? What wasn't here you two spell spellcaster? Excuse me, a four spell spellcaster, thank you very much. Excuse me, talk, where do you find talk you? to me when you at least have to. Quiet everyone. And after about 30, and not even 30 minutes, after about 15 minutes, um, every, every person seems to slowly move out of the room. First, it's the pirates, and you can see them, and you can see the main uh, lady in charge have a hand on her hip. Well, 
This will do the bugbears nicely. And she pockets it. The map. Yep, she pockets the map. As Zangus, your attunement to the Luxord is gone. Chill, chill, chill. As you, as you, as you watch these clockworks, yeah. as you watch these clockwork the abominations walk out and they kind of twitch their head, you know, like doo, 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 doo. their eye wide open, and they kind of skitter in in an opposite direction. And the same thing with these the he clockwork behemoths. They walk out, dragging their swords along the ground, almost as if they're too heavy to even lift up and like hold normally. Just kind of like making these marks and sparks along the ground, as as you see the man in the porcelain mask walk out. Ah, the creator will enjoy this very much. One step yes. closer to the dream, boys. One step closer to the dream. I will physically like just quietly like put a hand on on <laughs> on Zangus's shoulder. And just like kind of do like this tense like like reassuring like grasp, you know. So he's walking out of the room. Oh, he's no. walking. oh god, I, I am literally like like I'm literally like captain. Yes, they're all, they are all <laughs> walking out of the room. First comes Is out the, the clockwork man... stuff. So the old man's the last one out, right? Yes. Don't, don't, please don't <laughs> I want to try to steal the sword off of his hip. Oh my God. He's not holding it. He's, hold, he's, hold, he's holding it in his hand, right in front of his face. He, can I, dude? It's not time can yet. I, can I switch that sword for the short sword that I have? Dude, that that he's How... in front of him. He's literally holding he, it like this. He's yeah. holding it. He's like hey, hey, one step closer are to limits. the dream. Oh, one less can... closer to the dream. I, I literally have, I have Holy Pass Without Trace, hey. Advantage on Stealth, and I have uh, Gloves it. of Thievery, hey. and I would not do that. Hold on, no, no, no. Do what you did to Diz, but as soon as you do it, to be like, don't say a fucking thing, or you will die on the spot. I don't want him to know we're there. There's too much other stuff to lose, but I cannot trust somebody else to have the sword. But at the same time, if you're not attuned to it, he has all the powers of the sword, so he can do what you know what he can do. And you know it's not exactly hard to do. He's got the advantage. It's not time. What, but he, he's already attuned to it. Like, he can do whatever he wants with it now. So he can use it if you grab him. Only if he notices, and he has to have the sword. He's got the sword. He has yeah. the sword. But if I take the sword, he cannot use the power. All you say is, hey, turn around, and I think we are outnumbered. It's not exactly he's going to be intimi intimidated. Yes, but again, if I succeed in the roll... That's a big if. It's a big it's if. You need, you need to describe to me how you're going to try to do this without him <laughs> noticing right in front I mean, of his face. I mean, the short of the sword, Don't just then the, the sword. sheath. That's you just dumb. take the sword out of the sheath. It's not, he's holding it in his hand like it, he's about to present it to God. He's doing this. Wait, he's holding it like this? He's, yeah, well, you're saying this is going to do nicely. The God, the Lord is going to like this. Well, who walks with a sword like this? Damn, he's how probably holding that. An and asshole. Held it back in his hand. Like, no, Col Coley is right. That's how he's holding the sword. He's, he attuned he, to he's it. He's saying this is going to do nicely. He attuned to it and he said the creator is going to enjoy this one bit. We are one step closer to our dream. This is an awful idea to give to them. I'd rather He's already them... attuned to it. I... It doesn't matter if he's attuned to it, though. Ben, since I already have my gear, I could just follow him, and then if I lose him, I have locate object. Yeah, but you can only do that within a certain distance. He's going to leave the island. They both are. That's why I would follow him. Where, where are you going to go, and how are we going to reach you? Yeah, we all we lose past that trace. I bring Dory. The out of here safely as well. Not to metagame. For another day. Nope. Not to metagame, but this is the chance where Matt can take away the powerful weapon that you have. 
We can get it back later when we're a higher level. Or they use it between now and then, and something devastating happens to the world because of it. Oh, we already let the drugged wine go loose. It's called story. It's up to you, but I, I'm going to say, make a decision now or forever hold your peace. It's your choice, dude. Hey, what's, what's the worst that could happen? If we try, yeah, what's TPK? the worst that could happen? <laughs> yeah, a flat I mean, out TPK? I feel like we'd still <laughs> be able to sorry, play I'm not with you guys right now. Like, we, all of our gear is in the next room. Correct. We can go and get fully geared. Yeah, it's but there are great. variables that we're not, you're not considering. Like what? Wow. Like, I don't know, CR levels of the enemies, the amount of enemies, uh, the fact that, like, out of game, just saying wish, if he, if you miss out your chance to take from him, he just says wish. I want all these guys to just die. That's why I would prioritize the sword. But it's a variable. It's a dice. That's why we just execute him now while he's walking through the door. Yes, but D&D, like, &D, you can't exactly that. just... You can't auto-kill in D&D. &D. No, I'm Here. saying, yeah. do what Wait. he did before, but don't even, like, do the, hey, shut up thing, just kill him right there on the spot. All right. Yeah, but We're still, it, it's dice. It work like that. Because God, no decision no, has... I'm letting, I'm letting go, no, I already said that. Yeah, so because no I'm decision was made. Yep. He walks <laughs> away. And he says wish, and there's a nuclear launch. <laughs> 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 this is going to, to to pat you on the shoulder please be still I assure you a wish in her hands is far less dangerous than wish in hers hmm? than the bugbear lady? yep cool we, we don't know who this lady is correct? Oh, where you? Um, She's the new you know what? The Nathan, yeah. roll me a history check. <laughs> Literally, all of us know. <laughs> Does he get to use his passive wisdom at all for his passive perception? Because he he rolls crap, but I bet his pre passive perception's high. Hey, Ann, that's not what I'm rolling. He's rolling for history, and passive perception is usually only used for if something is trying to sneak past you. Or if you're trying to sneak past someone. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. They think of it like, yeah, like if you walk in a room, what are the base things you see? That's passive perception. I've always kind of thought of it as an anti-idiot prevention thing. I got a 13. Okay. Uh, the only thing you, that you remember is that she's the captain of the Bugbear Pirates. Um, nothing, mm. not a lot of other information comes, comes from this. Oh man. And with that, they both walked their separate ways. And Diz will uh, step out of the shadows. Alright now. Come. Collect your things. Alright, let's go. Okay. I'll go grab my stuff. Do they is my staff still there or is it gone? It's all there. Oh, yeah. The only oh, thing, yeah. the only things taken, were half your gold was taken. So oh, every, no. so everybody, your a gold amount that you had just cut in half, and then you have five hundred gold left over. What about that? What about, and what about yeah, the like, treasure trove a... that was underneath the ship? That that's uh, okay. that's the five that's a, uh, the five hundred extra. So, okay. What about my magic stone? Five hundred um, extra each, or just five hundred extra period that we have. Five hundred extra period that you guys can do whatever you want with, and then all your all your gemstones are still are still there, safe and sound. What about my 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 vase? <laughs> your vase is your vase is fine. All your paintings were taken though. Oh. Back. Um. I suggest that the 500 gold that was underneath the ship that we didn't know about goes to repairing the damage that was done through the pillaging and also through the dragon attack. Cool so just repairing the ship. 
Basically. Yep. Someone yeah. open Instagram Logan's bag, 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 bag. Yes, I will grab. We'll grab everything. Every, everyone yeah. can grab all their stuff. All their equipment is here what in the room. What about animals? Uh, the animals are not in this room. Mother! Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were in a separate room. Where the fuck's my bully log? Your bully log I thought you left on the island to be taken care everybody. of by Jombus. Oh, yes, I did. Yes. Wait, you're not leave Muncie on the island, too? I don't actually did remember. You? I don't remember. I know I the Phoenix took, on the island. You, you left, you left the bullywog, the phoenix, and all the chickens on the, the island. Chickens. But there was still the cockatrice, the cat, the cockatrice, the cat, the and uh, Munchie. You still brought along. Munchie, yeah. Damn it. So Munchie, Munchie is still missing. Well, I got my giant um, slayer and my, my shield back. You all have, you all have your things back. I have all my map stuff back too. You already had that stuff. Yeah, that will stay there's also, in there's also your trunk of holding, um, but all all your missile, all your miscellaneous stuff like your sheets, um, the furniture, all the stuff in the captain's room does not seem to be in here. No. Oh, no. Wait, all our weapons and stuff were in there, yeah. 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 Like all everything that was on your character sheet was, is in here. Yeah. But, so everything, Ruby, but everything, everything, everything on the ship was was gone. What, what about the strange dragon coins? Those are and those my, are, those are still there. My, okay, cool. Just so I got my weird coin bag and my diamonds and art and all that stuff. Yep. Good dive. You have your clothes again. Oh no, I'm gonna stay in the sheet. I think I look cool. Bud, <laughs> put clothes on. Okay, yeah, no, I'll put my armor. <laughs> I have okay. Question time. Answer time. I have time. all my stuff back. So, I think you will remember in Palace Ten, I took along with me six guard uniforms and six six guard masks that were those um porcelain ones. Those porcelain masks. Those were Correct. was the were what the guys were wearing as they were walking past. The uh, clockwork guys. Uh, the two Goliath ones. Uh, the, the two, like, big giant ones, uh, their masks seem to be that of, like, a, a crying sad face. Ah, and they were, the and they were big, song. they were big and giant. Crying but, massage, but putting this on would make us look more like we'd fit in. Uh, right? to those, to those folks, perhaps. It's, it's, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll put one on. Guys, if you would like, here is the disguise. You don't have to do it. If you want, I have six. I think you one's good. Okay. I'm good. Mm hmm Probably won't fit Zengus. Probably not. I turn around and go, Folklore, you want oh wait. Oh I can't wait to find out what's happening to Folklore. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh. All the folklore stuff is uh there as well. Who's gonna try Telegram to pick up him. Who's uh, trying to pick sure. up folklore stuff? I'll pick up folklore stuff. Okay, you're fine. Put all of those stuff in the hole and just carry his bag of holding. No, oh, yeah, I was about to say. I yeah, think I'll put the bag of holding in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm going to have to pick up his amulet to put everything into a bag of holding. Who's carrying the trunk of holding? <laughs> it's probably the fact that Jesse picks up the amulet. Just saying. Isn't the amulet in the bag of holding? Yeah, yeah wouldn't it be? No, I thought they dumped everything out of the bags of holding. I don't think they dumped it. Are there 11 and a half no, dead pieces lying around somewhere? They, they took all the valuables and the weapons. No, they took out the gold and the valuables. I don't know if they took out weapons specifically, but they wouldn't have known amulet about the amulet, so I don't think they could have pulled it out. The amulet can be seen as a quote-unquote... Well, let's ask <laughs> DM. DM, is the amulet out of the bag or in the bag? Uh... That's a good question. Uh, well, it depends how folklore. It depends, it's that's up to folklore. Would it be out of the bag or in the bag? I can't hear anything. Everyone's uh, clipping out for me. So. Well, this is fun. I love it when Discord. 
freezes. It's a lot of fun. I'm having so much fun right now with my friends. We, the amount of fun I am having is uncomparable. I can't hear anyone. Ah, Who's ready yeah. for Cyberpunk 2077? Yeah. We've been for three years. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you ever played the role-playing game of the Hello. original Cyberpunk? What the fuck happened there? Uh, you, the, you, you, like, died. Did I die? Did we all stay? Yeah, yeah it was just died. you. Everyone else was still here. Okay. I, I have no idea what happened. We just told you what happened. Did your you stream crash? No. Yeah, you got wished. <laughs> my you have my, been my stream did not crash, surprisingly. So it was just you and Discord, I guess. Oh, uh Logan, um people in the chat are asking you to have you to have um their children. What? What? Who? Um, oh. Lo Logan posted on a Snapchat for people to come watch, so Oh nice. Uh, yeah, you've got friends and they're asking calling you Papa and asking you to have their children. Alright, turning on camera. Actually. <laughs> Sounds like a Logan problem. Yeah, honestly. Don't worry, people. Senpai has noticed you now. Senpai has noticed you. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go buy Cyberpunk now. Dude, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna oh, get it thanks, until, like the whole thanks day. Thanks for following us on Twitch, Nathan. Wait, did I follow? No, you didn't. No, I followed. You never shouted me out, dog. What the hell? Oh, shout out to Sog Hale. What up? Really need to change your name, bud? Yeah, maybe just a little bit. I think I have to wait a few more months. I have to check. His music, I, but like. Yo, why can't I hear the chat? Is that just a me thing? Did you open the chat? Yeah. Is Cyberpunk on Steam? I don't know what like it's for. Like. That's a great question. I know it's on console, of course. Okay, well, that doesn't help. Yes, it yeah. is on Steam. Okay. Just I don't see my admirers in chat. You don't see them? No. Really? No. Uh, because if you pull up the the chat, and I mean December 9th, huh? Yeah, it's like in a knife. few days. I thought it was the 10th. You can pre-download it on the 7th. You pre-download it. That's that's what they did with um, Black Ops. It. Yeah. I'm probably not getting it till like, 20th or, like, the 17th around that time. You know, honestly, I want to get it day one. That way so I can see what happens because they said that they're not letting uh, videos be released until, I think, the 10th or, like, after the 10th. I, uh, I'm just excited because I believe it's co-op. I think they're they're kind of mm -hmm. doing like a like a Far Cry thing with it, where it's just multiplayer is just like two player. I don't think that's a good idea for it personally. They, it just, that's what they're it doing. Doesn't, it doesn't seem like a game that's fit for it. I I don't know. I, I'm just pretty it. sure it's literally just gonna feel like like a Far Cry in a cyber in like a in a Blade Runner kind of place. So. That's kind of what the, the, ga the gameplay looked like in the graphics. Just very Far Cry. -y. All right, Cyberpunk has been bought. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm glad. Dude, the, the upgrades Continue look the awesome. Where's my wallet? Heck! Don't forget to read your numbers on your card out loud. Yeah, for give, the me the, give me those three digits. Yeah. Yes, of course. I need I need I your have... last three digits, the three on the back, your social security. Cyberpunk for the poor. What is your mother's maiden name? Hmm. 
Diddled my butthole. Coley, <laughs> Coley, just ask. Oh, what a name! Uh, just ask, Sean. Sean, Sean just bought Valhalla, though. Street? What is the name oh. of the street that you grew up on? I just bought Game Pass. Lick my butthole. <laughs> what, what, what is your mother's maiden name? <laughs> he told yeah. us that already. Yeah, it was Diddle my butthole. Thanks. Welcome. All right. So if we're ready. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> talk about this in my our D and D stream. <laughs> I, I know. I'm I'm really glad. Glad this is happening. I'm glad like... "diddle my butthole" was said on this stream. <laughs> Everyone, go email me at diddle my butthole at yahoo.gmail.com. <laughs> dot com. No, no, no. This is a Yahoo thing, definitely. No, at yahoo.gmail.com. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Ymail for your information. Dot <laughs> AOL.com. <laughs> We're going way back, yo. So, believe it or not, that was not the plan combat for tonight. Good. Interesting. What was the point of combat? Oh, oh no. Well, we're about to find huh. out. Really. I'll say, uh, you haven't got there yet, but. And then I go over here. Are we wrapping stuff up already? No, we are not wrapping stuff up already. Oh, okay. I was like, dang, this early. What the heck am I going to do with the rest of my night? I no, have no, 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 no. We're, we're fine. Sleep? We're fine. We're fine. Okay, good. Sleep? Hello? What's that? <laughs> oh, never mind. The season one for Black Ops has been pushed back to December 16th. So we're not oh, great. Fuck Black Ops. Just, in all honesty, just the fact that they had to take away Newtown 24-7 already saddens me. What? They did? So, I played it earlier today. Yeah. So, folklore. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah. You're running, you're running, you're running, you're running, you're running, you're running, you're running. It's dark out. Um, As you're running, I... you hear the guards behind you going, Stop there! Stop right there! And then you just hear one of them just go, and then you just hear them start screaming. Ah. As you're running, and then you just hear the distant retreat, fall back. Okay, that wasn't my plan, but all right. Um, and then you also hear fall back, as in, giants. Oh, fuck. Oh. As you're running, you're running, you're running, you reach a forest clearing. Let me just put you on the map for you, boo. Oh, thank hey, you. Let's jump over. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, folklore, this is what you see. Huh. Oh, hey. Susan. 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 Oh, some fucking giant. I'll say, I'll say, I have my giant slayer. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Hey, thanks, Coley. So useful. Okay. So yes. In front of you are four hill giants. One of them's coming out of the clearing and he's getting it ready as well. As you see a Susan, very uh, a cracked Susan. You see no! there's definitely a lot of there's cracks in her in her form as she is coming in and she's just trying her best. She's trying to clobber all these giants, but it's it's Oh, she's fighting the giants. Oh, yeah, she's fighting them right now. Okay. Uh, the giant attacks don't really seem to be doing much to her. Thank God. But you can see she's definitely tr she's 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 in a losing fight. As you Eventually. see, the giants are trying to grapple her, and she and she's like pushing them off. Um, 
as she looks over and she sees you, and you have a brief moment of eye contact. But she Logan's has no like, facial expression, so there's Logan's no like, in her eyes. So I'm running, <laughs> and I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we savage moment of the day. <laughs> Peace, bitch. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> Sucks I, <to> suck. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm. I, Play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. I. I. I but oh, I can take it. Folklore, big mean. strong. If I was there, I'd be like, reduce. Yeah, all, <laughs> all, all the, all the attacks don't really be doing, seem to be doing anything. But this giant right here seems to be wielding something a little different. What does he seem? Can I tell Lucky what he's sword. wielding? Uh, yes. <laughs> Give me an Arcana check. Uh oh. Oh, that's how he can do damage to her. He's got something magical. No. Plus one. Wow, great. Is it a tied up bandit at all, by chance? Eleven. So, you're here, here's the thing. You're able to tell right off the bat, it's the sword from your ship. Oh, shit. Oh. Cool. Nice. As, as you see these giants, they all have wood clubs. They're coming in, they're trying to smack it as hard as they can, and it's just like breaking off. One giant, he's picking up a fucking tree and trying to smack Susan. Susan's just, just, just shit, dog, just ain't bother me that much. She's, she's, she's just tanking it, okay. Yep, but this guy, um, this guy walks up. He's gonna make a crack at Susan. Oh, shit. Can I? Oh, shit. Can I? <laughs> walk it. Can I get the bucket? Can I throw a lightning bolt at him and have it go through him? Uh, right after he's done making his attack. Fuck. Which that is going to be a. Yeah, that. <laughs> that that's that's too well. Logan, uh, there's a time to hit your <laughs> Coley, I am trying to save your wife right now. Don't kill Susan. Actually, no, it doesn't hit. It almost hit. That uh, was a plus 10 to hit. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, uh, he'll, yeah, uh. <laughs> yeah, giants aren't fun. So. Do any of the three look hurt? Um, the, the, the three that she's fighting seem to be a little bit bloody. Uh, but Susan is also bloody. As if, uh, Susan has half her HP. Wow. Which is As like if. a lot. Hey, Chloe, what's her at her HP? <laughs> Around like 80. <laughs> Around 70. <laughs> she has 178 hit points. Ah! Totally. God, I wish. God, so, I wish that were me. <laughs> it's coming, don't worry. 178 divided by 2. She has 89 hit of points course. on her. Four, four, four hill giants can get through that fairly easily, even with resistance. Not three of them. Only one of them can do damage. As long as, well, mm -hmm. she's just resistant. She's not immune. No, she's immune. She's immune, dude. She's immune? Stone golems yeah. are immune to poison, psychic, bludgeoning, piercing, I forgot, I forgot. and slashing from non-magical attacks that aren't anime team. Your wife. Yeah, I read it. They have her ally card on that one site. Why is everyone think she's not? I hear this shit like every every freaking Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I have to deal with this shit. Damn. Wait, every Friday you're people told claiming to, to be my wife. People claiming to be my mom. But <gasps> fucking so so the giant came up and he slammed the sword into the ground. He's not that used to the sword, but it made a, a nice old and you could just tell Susan missed that by a fucking mile. And she was like, "Country Rose." <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, go home. Let's roll some initiative. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, hang on. Can I? You got. You got to see. You got a surprise round. You do. So you're gonna fire a lightning bolt. Yes, sir. All right. Lightning bolt. Pikachu. 
Try and line, try and line yeah. some up. Oh, <laughs> ah, wonderful. Uh, oh, nice. Both nice, cool. Sick. I'm so sorry, you so fire nice. off. Oh, it's 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 dark <laughs> out, but you fire off an ISIL, and it you can't tell if it hit or not. You're pretty sure it didn't, but like in in the flashes. You could just see the giants like looking at Susan, and then like it went dark, and then the second flash, they're looking at you. To be continued. I thought you were wondering how I got in this situation. <laughs> and my life is kind of crazy. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> bro, what is your problem? So let's roll some initiative. Yeah, great. Susan's yeah, gonna so count. So for right now, Susan is gonna be your ally card. So you control what Susan does. The funny wow. thing is, Logan has like is a sorcerer, so he's squishy, and he's gonna go up against like a high DPS <laughs> with his low health. Why couldn't this have happened earlier? <laughs> 21. 21. 21? <laughs> Alright, so Logan, you're first. <laughs> Logan's gonna get yelled at by his parents. I am, why? <laughs> and then oh. it's gonna go Susan right after you, and you control Susan for this battle. And then it's gonna go the bloodied uh, giants. Wait, it's gonna go me then Susan or me? It's gonna go else. you, Susan, you Giants. Susan Giants, and it's gonna go okay. the Bloody Giants first, so one, two, and three, and then the uh, Weapon Giant. Okay. Um. Well, <clears throat> all I can really do is yeet another bolt. <laughs> all right, go for it, bud. Show me what you can do with those six spell slots. No, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, six spells? I have three third level spells? Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> you tell 18. me. And an 18. Okay. Um, what were the two? 14 and an 18. Those both hit. Oh, yeah. thank Christ. Yep. And then I just roll one burst of damage. Six. Eight. Holy. What's up? 24 damage. Looking what? Alright, so chat. the one giant that was already being beaten on by it. Susan, uh, he gets fried. He's like, brr, brr, brr. And the one giant that has the sword in his hand, he he gets hit in the chest, and he's and he he kind of looks up at you and he kind of gives a grin. All right. Uh, uh, next up is Susan Sturd. Actually, before Susan goes, I'm going. Before Susan goes, I'm going to twin spell. Okay, God. And I'm going to hit this one. <laughs> I'm gonna hit that one. Okay. That's a hefty price for happiness. <laughs> it is. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that that doesn't do shit. One yeah, one. that fits. <laughs> All right, cool. Whatever. Oh, natural one. Yeah, great. Oh. An another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> Great, great, three wasted, uh, three, uh, four three points. Great. All right, yeah, uh, Susan will go. So, how is this one looking? Um, he's definitely bloodied. He is, he's, he's hurting. Okay, and what, and you said this one just... This guy just, damage. this guy just showed up. He, he took the damage from the lightning bolt, but he, he still has some, he has some oof in him. 
Okay, uh, do I have Susan's? I can uh, tell you what Susan can do. Uh, if not, it's on the uh, World Anvil. So, okay, it's on World. Susan can do... Susan has multi-attack. She can, she can do two slam attacks, um, which is a plus 10 to hit, and they each do 3 8 plus 6. Okay. And then she also has a slow. Okay. Um, I am trying to... Okay. Southland. Uh, where would her character she be under? Ally cards. Ally cards. Uh, I'm trying to find that. I do not see that. Okay, uh, awesome. Wonderful. Yo, what's up with your camera angle there, bud? Mine? No, Nathan's. Oh, you're oh shit, me. Are <laughs> 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 you paying attention? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was talking to you about Star Wars shit. Yep. And then also, can we mute the keyboard sounds, please? Bad. Man, he's calling out everybody. Every time. Um, so... You said her slam is a plus 10 to hit, and then it's what, 3, you said 3d6? 3d8, I think, 3D8. right? 3d8 plus 6. Plus 6, okay. So, I guess... Yep, and you can do that in the advanced dice roller, by the way. So when you go over to the dice yeah. symbol and the advanced dice roll, you can do that. Yep. Um... I guess I'll try... How... What's her movement speed? Her, she has a movement speed of 30. 30. So what would that be? Would that be 5? Or would this be considered 5? Or what would that be considered? Be 6. That would be, that would be 10. So if you click on her, if you click on her and you just press your arrow keys, it would just be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Um, I'll have... Is she going to make an attack, or what's happening? Yeah, I I want her to attack. Fuck, I'll I'll just leave her in the middle because she is immune to everything. Uh, I'll just have her attack him with uh, that slam. Okay, she makes two slam attacks, so roll two d twenties with plus ten. Yep. You have to roll a three or higher. Okay. That's 28. One hit. I'm not saying a word. I'm not going to jinx it this time. 24. Okay. Those both hit. Good deal. And then you said 3d8. Correct. Okay. So let's get some popping battle music up in here. Is there a plus anything to that? You said plus 6, right? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, so it's 3d8 plus 6. Okay. That's the damage. I'll take 20 damage. Oh. Alright, so 26 damage to the big guy. All right, he 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 looks bloody now. Oh, thank God! <clears throat> All right, it's now the giant's turn. Um, this guy, he's looking over at you. So five. What? Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker! You want that booty? Yeah. All right, and all those are gonna take opportunity attacks from Susan. Okay. So make three slam attacks. Bonk, bonk. So that is. 
You said three slam tags? Actually, it's only one because it's her reaction. So. But what, Does he get to choose? Get, yes, she gets to choose what. Yes, yeah, you get to choose which one Susan attacks, but they're all gonna. Okay, you said this one's probably the most bloodied out of the three, right? Correct. Okay, she'll uh, make an attack against him. Of course. Wonderful. She does have like a plus like 10. I know, right? Uh, the armor class is a 13. Yeah. Doom. Doom. Great. Cool. Thanks, Susan. Alright, that's gonna be their turns. Next up is the weapon giant who's going to try to attack Susan. Uh. If it will. You got a four. No bueno. That's Dang. a 14, not going to hit Susan. Again, he brings up the weapon and slams it into the ground, making a big poof. And he it's too picks bad. it back up. All right, Folklore, top of the round. Yay. Hey, guess what? <laughs> I can't control my character. What do you mean you can't control your character? I cannot grab Folklore. Hold on, let me... This one I can control. Why isn't the settings popping up for me? Oh, my computer is trying its best right now. <laughs> it's struggling. Me too, computer. Me too. My laptop's struggling too. That's there. why I can't wait to get this new PC. <laughs> right? Oh, I think I just clicked on your your sort of thing from the oh. from the wrong thing. I'm my bad. Did you enter mine? God, everything is taking fucking forever with this right now. Alright. Folklore's out someplace else, dying, and Zangus is just sitting in can the you tower control, being can you like, control this? Sword. Can you control this token, Folklore? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, your turn. Alrighty. Um, I'm just seeing. Their movement speed's 40. Uh, I'm a fucking backpedal and yeet a lightning bolt at this one and this one. Alright, roll a hit. Eleven. Eleven doesn't hit. Twenty-three. <laughs> Twenty-three hits. So the eleven doesn't hit the first guy, but it does hit the second guy with the magic weapon. Alright. Roll Diamilge. I have to keep reminding myself. 28 damage. Oh. 28 damage to the big guy. Alrighty. And that was to him or to him? That was to the big guy <laughs> with the magic with uh, with your sword. To him, okay. Yep. How's he looking right now? Um, he's looking worse for wear. It's Susan's awesome. turn right now. Perfect. Um, 
You said she has multi attack, right? Yeah, she makes two slam attacks in a row. Oh, that's right. I'm, I'll move her to here, so she'll be like. Spilled. Yeah, so she can attack both of them. All right. Yeah. Or whatever. That's probably the best. All right. Um. Alrighty. So, which one do you want to hit? Um, I guess the guy with the magic weapon. All right, roll the attack on him. 3d8 plus 6. Uh, 3d8 plus 19. Okay. So Susan comes in, just with a kite, pow, bam, right to the face. You can you can see in in the in the in the darkness around that. Uh, he's he's his face is like a like a freaking pumpkin. It is it is puffered up, and he's just going. Right. Next up, it's the other giant's turns. Oh, wonderful. Um, this is going to be difficult terrain for them, so they're only going to move half, because of course, so, yep, so, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, actually, no, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Alrighty. Next up, it's the weapon. It's the magic guy's turn. He's gonna try to attack Susan. Fuck. Alrighty. So that's gonna hit. <laughs> Did just accept that. So that's gonna be killing your wife. You and your wife. <laughs> Seventeen damage. Seventeen plus five. That's going to be twenty-two damage. 20. Going to Susan. So what, she's down to 50-something now? Correct. <clears throat> Poor Susie. 54, I think. Did you, did you say she was 76? 76. So she's down to 54. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. Top of the round, folklore. Yay. Um... Let's try this. He's the most bloodied one, correct? So we're going to throw a chromatic orb at him. Okay. Twenty-two. That hits. Okay. Uh, um, that's. Three D take damage, not the best. And then <clears throat> I will twin spell that for this guy right here. Okay. So what was the first? Right, what was it. the first uh, damage, by the way? Uh, eight for him, the guy eight. in the right. Okay. And then the second attack didn't hit. I, I got an 11. Okay. Alrighty. Is he dead or no? 
He's it's not dead not, yet. Okay, then I will run 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Alrighty. Up next is um, Susan. Susan Smash. She's just gonna smash him. She gotta fight at that point. <laughs> Nat 20. Okay. So. That's on the first one, and then the second one is a 22. Okay. Roll damage. That's so gonna be that's, max. That's going to be max damage, so that's going to be 24 plus 6, so that's going to be 30 damage right off the bat. Plus 21. Plus 21. Ah, uh, yeah, it's dead. Yes! Yes! So, Susan just takes him out of mouth and just kind of... <sighs> right through the center of the mouth. Even though the giant's a little bit taller, Susan kind of jumps up and, you know, does it. And he falls to the ground. Um, laying the sword there. Alrighty. Next. Would, would Susan be able to wield the sword? Just a question. Um, she would be. Actually, uh, first off, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. If you wanted to move down straight and attack that guy with your other attack, you can. That's what I was going to plan on doing. Alright, go for it. Down one more. There you go. Okay. So we'll hit. Yeah. Fifteen. That hits. Twenty damage. All right, twenty damage. Coming to that guy. Um, he's dead. <laughs> oh, thank Christ. So this guy's down. He's dead. Alright, folklore. Actually, no, it's the busted giants up there. So they're gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. What's. Is he technically moving past Susan? This one? No, because Susan. Okay. Susan's. No problem. Yeah. So, there's five feet of distance in between them. Alrighty, full call, your turn. So, we're going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I will... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm just waiting I, for I, Logan to get Ooga Boo good. <laughs> Honestly, though. Um, I'll just hurl a chromatic orb at him. Sounds good. I like the sword. <laughs> Eleven. Book. We, 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 we roll those again for, uh, twin spelled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was it the third one? <laughs> Once again, Pokor, your chromatic orbs, you, you bring them into existence, and they... <laughs> Just so you guys know, this follows him to every single game he plays. He, <laughs> always, he always tries to use this chromatic orb, and it never works. Honestly, when um, Clay played this yesterday, floor. Clay used yesterday, and I was like, oh, here's the thing that misses, and he hit, oh. and I was like, what is this? You mean the innocent deer you killed? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. The, the, the innocent deer that was in the bush. It is Susan's like turn. Some things in the bush. <laughs> Neo. Nat 20. Deer just explodes. Susan's turn. What you gonna do? Um, so Susan will move here. 
front of this first one, and she will smash. Okay. Smash. Wow. 13. 13 hits. Just hit. Yes, 21 damage. Already, it's dead. Awesome. Uh, would she have enough movement speed to get to this one? Uh, yes. Okay. And then she'll make her second attack on him. combat all right um okay. i'll look at susan and point her to meet me towards the sword um and i will t uh i guess i'll say to her uh let's grab the sword and uh m make our way back to the tower to meet uh meet up with everyone well uh we'll stay in the tree line that way ho hopefully we won't get seen I, Susan will not. Uh, huh? Susan will not. Will not what? Pick she'll nod sword. and OD. No, nod. I thought you said not. I'm like, she'll not what? <laughs> okay. And do I know how she gets healed or no? That's amazing. Um... <laughs> You you would know you've seen, okay. You've seen it around, so. You've watched her eat the geodes. Okay. Well, she also just eats any um, ore, right? She or eats any, any gems. ore. Yep, any ore, any gems, and it does it heals her for one d ten. Okay. okay. No matter the rarity. Correct. Okay. Onward back to the compound. Alrighty. Now, now Susan's just equipped with this massive ass sword. <laughs> A classic song. Jesse, you're putting so much time into that. It's looking good. Oh, thank you. This is what I do with my free time. So. Cosplay stuff. You head back to the others. All right, everyone. You're back at the top of here. Let me move you over. So, as that all is happening, you all gather up your things. Godiva, you grab Folklore's things, and you guys start heading out. Is there anything you want to talk to Diz about on the way out? What did or, you get from them for doing this? Why, well, uh... Why didn't you go by your real name? Or O U F. I don't like spreading around my real name. Well, what is so particular about uh, this? Fuck. Giannis. <laughs> what do you mean? Why? Why this name? It's just a cover name. Seems simple enough. Can I have an insight check? Sure. Did he ever ask my answer my question too? I he ignored your question. Uh, yeah. A I uh a 
that's plus five. So, yeah, a 23. You seem to be telling the truth. It's just a simple name. Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. That's all it is. Simple name. <laughs> what I'm ordering is... I just never thought all of your things would be here. I do really seem to be part of the deal. Well, when you make stupid deals... I made the right deal. No, you Did you now? Trust me when I say those items you had in your possession were way too dangerous. Now hurry. We gotta get an hour. I'm sure they'll be looking for Susan. They'll probably be running into giants over yeah. in the hills. Probably. The Northlanders here don't really know the don't know the forest trails that well. Most of their supplies come from the orcs. So them blindly rushing into the forest is basically a death sentence. Speaking of, how did speaking of, how did you get here? Our boat. Ah. You sailed across uh, the shoreline until you found a nice spot to dock right near the uh, right near the fort. Smart, clever, also dangerous. Well. As you can tell, your time with us, we don't exactly follow the rules too much. Yes, I see that. You're most unorthodox. Quickly. But we're stylish. <laughs> and, and we're cute as shit. And we're in the street. I will... I will distract the guards. They know I'm supposed to be here. You all make your escape. Why are you helping us? I have no reason not to help you. You're a very strange man. Well... This is coming from a real weirdo. Well, strange... Strange people is all you're gonna find here in a thousand isles. If I were normal and I were sane, I'd be on the mainland. Now, quickly. And Diz walks out uh, first, like he gives you a little pat to tell you to stop. And he goes out and he just and he goes out and he starts talking to the guards very cordially, and the Northlander guards uh, seem very friendly with him. Uh, they go out, they kind of you know go back and forth as you know Diz you know tells a joke and <laughs> and he puts his hand behind his back and he and he gives you the signal, which is just like a little like a little go go. At what point cool. all of you dash out the front gate and into the tree line before where in the tree line you start to hear a deep rumble from into the woods as into the woods and down the dead. as crushing <laughs> over sticks into and stones <laughs> Hewan, you get a nice on your shoulder as you look behind and there's Susan Oh, shit. Did it hurt? <laughs> it did not hurt. Oh, it hurt when she fell from heaven. <laughs> Hopefully not on to me. <laughs> um, what does her condition look like? Very busted Wrong. up. Oh, well, that's not good. Do she, it, also, she, also, she also really tugs at, she also tugs at your bag. A bit. She doesn't have her book on her, so she's she's tugging at her bag. Oh, I'll look. Do I? Is it in the bag? Yes, her journal is in the bag. Oh yeah, I'll pull it out. Oh, it's good to see you, Susan. Uh, um, the only thing she simply does is she flips through her pages, and she just puts her fingers on wine. More, <laughs> please. Cover past this. Do I have any more of in the in the, the bottle I got? Because I was like rationing it. There is we there's no more left. We literally just I got a bottle from the barkeep. That one guy that Zangus beat up. Remember? Folklore has that. Yeah, I've, been, I've, been, I've been keeping track of the wine that you did steal, and I will tell you that Susan has been drinking it. 
Um, I, okay. think I, I think I told you it a couple sessions ago, but but she was the, drinking it. The wine that we found at the bar, though, we Susan wasn't with us. Correct, but the the, the stuff that uh, he wouldn't put into his water skin yeah, and the yeah. bottles that he did steal, Susan has been drinking that. So, yep. but so, that ran some... that ran out like two days ago. So she's starting to maybe feel a little bit of an itch. Uh, uh, I'll I'll just ask her. I'll, I'll get you some soon. Uh, you, have you run into Folklore? A Folklore is right behind her. Oh, okay, yeah. I was just like, oh, okay, there he is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Folklore! Yeah. Here's all your stuff. Oh, thank also you. for also your amulet's really neato burrito. I uh, you, you can keep it if you want. No, no. It's it's your. It's fine. I already have no, another no, no, amulet. No. You you can keep it if you want. Um. Okay, I'll hang on to it for now. But if you change your mind, it's here no, for you, sweetie. No, no. no. <laughs> okay. I, I need to be rid of that thing. I, I figured it's probably best in your hands. Can you maybe get rid of the corpses I, in the bag of holding then? I don't think. I don't think it's best in anyone's hands. I. I <laughs> I would still like to give these people a proper burial, if that's okay with all of you. So, ne next time... Okay, next time, uh, this would be a great conversation. Can you give them a proper Somewhere burial else. on our island? <laughs> yeah, uh, on our island. I suggest we leave. At this point, Diz also walks over to you guys in, in the bushes. <clears throat> well then. You have your things? You all right? Are any of you hurt? Uh, just Emotionally. <laughs> me, Susan me, is a little worse for wear, but um. Yes, yeah, Su Susan got roughed up by some hill giants, and I, I helped her uh, out of that situation. But man, she she can hold her own. Say, you need a uh, you need a, a ride. ride? <laughs> we also got the sword back, by the way, guys. Just saying. Yes, yeah, Susan is dragging behind the giant sword. Yeah. Susan just has it. Diz, do you say you need a ride, or are you staying here? I still have business I need to take care of. Hmm. I need to collect more. I need to collect the rest of these, after all. What's, the What's he holding? No. The rest of what? I suppose I could tell you. Yeah, buddy. And he'll... He'll, he'll to bring out two scrolls, and he'll open up the first one. Ooh, scrolls. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> and Fireball. Uh, it's a blueprint piece. Does it look like a dragon killing weapon? <laughs> Where's my dragon? Here? It looks like part of it. But <laughs> it's the blueprint we need. Sorry about this, this. <laughs> Chloe's like, yeah, I'll take that off. Yeah, I'm, gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that right there. You say you need this. What for? Um, we have well, a promise to fulfill. Well, uh, you, you say how we got here. Uh, <laughs> we we needed a little help. I understand. I mainly wanted this to get out of Northland's hands, especially away from him. Well, here. Who I propose a bit of a trade. Uh-oh. Let's hear it. You join our crew? I'm listening. <laughs> I am gonna say, that's not, that's not benefiting him. I am waiting for a proposition. Benefits so, me. I have this other map. Right here. It's not as... Filled out as yours, nor is it as big, but it'll work fine on the Thousand Isles. And I know someone here in Orkton that can help fill it out enough to get you back to the mainland. Because well, what if we don't you can see Orkton's not on the map. It's the reason I joined with you in the first place. Now, here's my offer. 
I'll either give you the piece right here to the Dragonator, or I can trust you with it, or this map. I'll be back. Sorry. Kind of. We kind of need the map. The only reason, I, the only need I have for the map is to get back to the mainland, which I can find another way, obviously. So, so we can we'll take you. We'll there. take you back to the mainland, and you give us both. No, I need to collect the rest of these pieces. I'm assuming the person you were speaking to was someone who wanted all the pieces, correct? Y yes, they're wonderful. Debatable. Someone named the boss? I... It's my it's my brother. I I She's not wrong. can give you your ticket to the mainland or I can have you fulfill my mission collecting these parts. The orcs in Northland cannot have these pieces. With this weapon they'd be able to do dangerous things. Do you know no. if do this you know weapon is lady? not going to orcs. Do you know if the bugbear lady has left already? I'm afraid she has. Oh. Same thing with that mechanical gentleman. He calls himself the first. Yeah, he's gonna go bring it to the creator, no. right? Correct. How, how about how about this? If we help you collect the rest of these pieces. Maybe you can join us and help us get our map back. Perhaps. But for that, we would need to go to the mainland. Fuck! <laughs> where on the mainland? I know where she's going. And she's going to the mainland. I also know the island in which the first is on. It's simple. <laughs> Do you know where you either go to the mainland and help me continue in a mission of mine, or you can let the dragon in there, Peaches. Uh, and if I so, I will trade you information. I think we get the dragon here, guys. I, I think we go to the mainland. I would like to ask the DM, is there anything that we need to do in this session after this decision? Um, because because if there isn't, I kind of want to take the time between now and next session to talk about it and, like, decide. Now, unless there's anything you guys want to do. Yeah, there is. Oh. Well, too bad! Mom, <laughs> what is it? Beat up a wizard. What is it you want to, what is it you want to do, folklore? I want to go beat up the wizard. <laughs> yeah, and I want to go to the science building if we're doing, if we can do that. The science -y whatever it was on the one island. Well, that the guy said. So, those are his options. This is giving you a chance to go to the mainland and fulfill a mission for him that he will tell you if you accept it. Or, he will give you the chance to fulfill his mission here on Orkton's and can collect a Dragonator. In doing so, here. in doing so, he will give you one piece of information, either where the first is or where uh, the bugbear pirates are. We already know where the bugbear pirates are. No, he well, he just said he's on the mainland, and he knows yeah, but, where they're going on the mainland, and he knows what island the. Uh, but, but the first we is have on. the ex captain of the bugbears on our island. The guy who hit his head against the wall. He wasn't a no, captain. He wasn't an ex-captain. He, he, he was the captain? No, he was a guy that, that cleaned the deck. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's the boop deck guy. I forgot. B-team. Classic guy. I'll have to correct my notes. He was on the B-team. The B-team, yeah. He was born on the D-team. But he still gave information that they were going to uh, the mainland and kind of told us where. So we really don't need the bugbear information. We have an inside man already. Well, so my question is, is like, I want, I want to help Diz with getting his stuff in turn of, I guess, him 
kind of joining us and helping us out for a while. Um, I don't know how that sounds for y'all. Well, we still need Hugh in here to help, too. He doesn't know anything that's happening, right? Yeah. Um... Guys, I have this yeah. amazing feeling, though. We should get the dragon thing. Oh, yeah, no. I, yeah. No, no doubt. I want to help up? him. Um... Never mind. I forgot what I was going to ask. Don't mind. <laughs> Guys, we should help my brother. I do. What? Mainland, sh mainland. I'm down for staying on Orton for a little bit. Well, see, we're also probably really fucking wanted in Orkland right now. But we're also wanted in the mainland. We're just wanted everywhere. At this point, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of, like, rules here either. So, like, we could, but then again, we couldn't be... We can't just go back to the mainland. We have to help Yanis. Remember? Fuck Yanis. Yeah, fuck Yanis. Why don't you guys like Yanis? Fuck Yanis. He's, he's weird. Helped us. He's weird. He's. He's. Watch. He's cool. Let's just go back to our boat right now, and it'd be gone. No. Yanis is cool. He wouldn't do that. Yes, he would. Jesse, look at what I just sent you. Okay. It's a picture Omar of Omar vote is for saying. He is beautiful. I love I mean, it. I made that senior year just because that was my first musical. Oh. You did a really nice job. Nice shading. It was right, so hard. So, are we. Do we want to just wait since. One, Coley's not here. We can decide between now and next session. What are you getting tired, Ben? I want to play Cold War. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, honestly, like, this is a, obviously going to be a big decision for where the campaign goes. Well, Omar vote is for staying. So, I don't know if you so, want to go to the mainland. I guess my question is, do if we choose to help out Diz find the rest of the Dragonator, is are the rest of the pieces on Orkland, or are they over on the mainland? All the... So... Diz will tell you that if that's... He will tell you what you need to do for each task, depending on which one you do. Depending on which... On which on if you take the map, or if you take the Dragon Age piece. Is it a piece, or is it a blueprint? It, it's a blueprint for the piece. Gotcha. Well... Because, whatchamacallit, with Omar being having his map maker's kit, he could just copy down the blueprints, and so we can make the blueprints for ourselves at some point, and I guess essentially make our own Dragonator and throw that out. I'm the fucking. Why doesn't every why does anybody like my family? You haven't explained anything to us about your family. None of you have asked any questions about it. Hey, you're calling you just your a brother, and I'm assuming that he's just a guy you know that you like. Alright. Because See, I mean tech, I mean I, I can I can tell you that it's not it, Jesse does not have any siblings. <laughs> it's my brother! What makes it I, I, way better? What, would my character have suspicions of, like, if she says he's her brother? Oh god, everything's freezing again. Other, would my character have seen a suspicious her? person? With yes. your dragon skills, yes. <sighs> Omar, you treat a little bit of a suspicious person sometimes. She's Louise. You get naked once and no one trusts you anymore. No. Jeez Louise, you let a guy nuke an entire island and he's suspicious for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> You're the so, one who so the repeat, island. Repeat, right, the, hey, repeat, hey, the, hey. repeat the suspicion because everything cut out and then it all sped up again. So. I, I said, 
Gene, you, you let a guy nuke an entire no, island. No, no, but before, you, before, yeah. before that, what you're saying about Jesse? Oh, what I, I was, said? I was saying, would I be suspicious of her brother? Like who she says is her brother because I know who her father is, kind of. Like I can, I guess, kind of connect the dots with having felt her presence within that. Um, I guess a vision. Um, I don't know. That's that's for folklore to decide. Okay. Um. Why would you? Be yeah, Omar just really wants to just go I, to the science. Like, because I mean, I know because Jesse knows knows the truth about. I mean, Jesse knows some things, but like you know, like I said before, like like you know, just Jesse accidentally put it out, but she did. Her, Godiva doesn't know um, what character, like the name of her father. Godiva, the character, mm -hmm. does not know. Um, she. She doesn't know the name, but does she know what he looks like? Nope. I guess. Not at all. Nope. No. She just knows her daddy's the demon. Nope. Jesse Jesse knows a little bit of meta knowledge because we were discussing this a little bit. Um Yeah, I forgot that Godiva doesn't know her dad's name. Yeah. I might actually have to go over again yeah. with you what I do and do not know. Yep. I'm getting it kerfuddled again. Uh, yeah. Matt, this weekend, uh, just really off topic real quick, I think I told you before we started that I have a list of some names for like friends, slat, friends and bullies uh, yep. for my backstory. I'm going to finish uh, getting some more names and I guess coming up with backstories for them as well. Um, I guess it would be, I'll also leave my mother up to you as well. Like her name, where she comes from, family-wise, all that. Yeah, so no problem at all. Alrighty. <laughs> I leave my parents' fate in your hands, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. So yeah. That's a scary thing. Yeah. And there's nothing else to do besides make that decision. Do you want to make it now, or should we discuss it? Hewan's still I, not back. I say let's wait for Coley to get back. Okay. So with that, we'll end the session. Formally. So everybody gets one extra point. Everyone gets one extra? So we get two points. No, yeah, everyone, two just, points. everyone just gets one point. Fuck you, Kim. You don't get any points. Jim gets, uh, Jim gets a point. I know. I'm kidding. Who gets the extra point? That's what we need to decide. Omar is out. Yeah, fuck you, Omar. And <laughs> sadly, Tim is out. What? Tim out? But it's uh, because he, he, was he missed session. Because he gave me an extra... Yeah, gave me an extra one. So, last so that's session. that's gonna be the rule. If you miss session, then you get two points, but you're unable to get the extra point next week. Okay. I'm just gonna miss every other session so I can just get double. <laughs> Ideal yes. meta game. Then you'll get no points. But fine. How about every three? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> So, some standout moments. His anger threw a lot of people overboard. He also did a really good job controlling his anger with the lucky sword. That was all Omar. He also did. Uh, he also did lose his luck sword. He did lose the luck sword. Uh, uh, for the greater good. It's a very honorable thing you did. Folklore fucking went up against four giants. Uh, by himself. It's Susan. By himself Susan. and found mm -hmm. Susan. And I got the sword back somehow. Yep. That was luck. Yeah. Hey. 
Dobby. I say. Oh, no, I say Logan or Ben. Did I miss something? We're voting. We're voting on session ended. Um. Oh. I vote Coley. <laughs> I vote Coley. Uh, just so you know, both uh, Omar and Raphael are out. You cannot vote for them. Oh boy. Which is fine because uh, they didn't do a lot this session. F. Yeah, no, no, no. Pass it on a trace. Let someone's close. throat. Pretty. Yeah, that was close. A lot this. Yeah. I'll, I'll go for Logan for uh, having that combat experience that I know <laughs> was wound up. <laughs> that was terrifying. Alrighty, so if there's no objections, Monsieur Logan, Holy. yes, sir. You get the extra boat. You get the extra bonus point. Gracias, sir. Thank you, everybody, sir. Mm -hmm. I just want to let you know I did not vote for you. I voted for Coley. <laughs> You're such an asshole. Alrighty, uh, and with that, I'm we are going sorry. to end the stream and this episode of. I guess now the outsiders. Yeah, outsiders works. Outsiders. Yeah. The outsiders. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. The outsiders to the aisles. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, stream. Bye. Bye.